Nah, fix it in post. That is not a thing we can fix in post. Yeah, fix it in post. <laughs> hey bud, how's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back later, cat may be out of the bag. But that doesn't mean it's alive. Welcome back to another movie commentary. My name is Sam. Steph. And we're the movie buds. Inside Out. We've both seen this. It's a really fun movie. I enjoyed it a lot. I only saw it the one time in cinemas, but I do remember being a bit underwhelmed by it. Oh, really? It's a complicated subject. It's very complicated. It does require a certain amount of nuance, I think. that They handle the subtleties quite well from what I remember, and yeah, it's a difficult story to tell. Oh, definitely. One thing I do really like about this movie is that uh, I heard afterwards that a similar method gets used now to teach children in therapy. Mm. It's definitely a step forward. You know, I'm not ragging on the movie or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I do remember the music was really nice on this one. Fair enough. That I do remember. That's always good, but this one was a standout for me. Sure. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Frequently, yes. Yes, all the time. Well, I know. I, well, I know Riley's head. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're starting right at the start? Right at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Little potato. <laughs> Oh, sweet. So yeah, like the first emotion she ever experienced was joy. Okay, yeah. I mean, you'd hope the first thing you'd think is joy. Yeah. And there she was, Riley. Now, disgust rocks up first. Like, Ugh, these are my parents. <laughs> Yuck. Aren't you a little bundle of joy? Hey, first memory. Aren't you a little bundle of joy? It's a good one. That's a keeper. Amazing, Riley and me forever. Oh. oh, for 33 seconds. Yeah. Oh, I'm sadness. Hey, me too. <laughs> I'm Joy. If you could, this bitch. Headquarters only got more crowded. Fighting for control. Yeah, makes sense. Very good. Well, that's right, parent. Ah! That's fear. He's really good at keeping Riley safe. Yeah, people forget how useful fear can be. Yeah, right. We're good. Thank you very much. And we're back. <laughs> Oh, no. All right, open. What is it? There is a dangerous smell, people. This is disgust. Keeps Riley from being poisoned. It's broccoli! Yeah. 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 <laughs> Got high standards. I just saved our lives. One of the most nutritious things you can eat, but sure. You're not going to get any dessert. Did he just say we couldn't have dessert? That's what he said. All of that on the newspaper? No dessert. That's anger. No dessert? Eat this! Ah! <laughs> yeah! Right, right. Here comes an airplane. Rage, rage, fucking rage. Here comes an airplane. Oh, oh airplane. <laughs> He's excited now. We got an airplane, everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's all good now. Mm -hmm. Crisis averted. We can go back to the basic joy and sadness. Yeah. And you've met sadness. She... <laughs> I'm not actually sure what she does. <laughs> I've checked. There's no place for her to go, so. She checked. <laughs> she tried so hard. These are Riley's memories. Mostly happy, you'll notice. Mm. Lots of good memories. That's great. Yeah. The really important ones are over here. These are called core memories. And uh, the important shit. Each one came from a super important time in Riley's life. When she first scored a goal, amazing. Boom. Nice. Look at that. Like an accidental goal. Should be knocking out people's teeth in no time. <laughs> Just like hockey should be played. Exactly. Just the way God intended. It's like the main thing I know about hockey. Knocking out teeth. Yeah, that's all I know. Each core memory powers a different aspect of Riley's personality. Hockey island. Mm -hmm. There's no basketball island. Hey, you guys can all go fuck yourselves. This is a hockey town. <laughs> Goofball island is my personal favorite. Oh, yeah. Friendship island is pretty good too. Most of the time, it can be. I love Honesty Island. <laughs> Riley, you little shit. <laughs> yeah. Family Island is amazing. The islands of personality are what make Riley, Riley. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you gotta love the floor is love. Classic game. Hi, ah, yep, fucking up the walls. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> I do appreciate that everyone literally just freezes in there. Yeah. <laughs> what happens when she has a brain fart, though? Ooh. <laughs> Kamikaze! Everybody run! No! Good night, kiddo. Good night, Dad. Another perfect day! I do love the visual storytelling, like how they just make it all work, like it's an office and stuff, you know? Call that an unqualified success! Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. 
And I like that in this case, Joy is in charge, but I'm pretty sure we find out later on, like different people, different emotions are in charge. Exactly. Different dominant emotions. Things couldn't be better. Riley's 11 now. Yeah, yeah, that shit's gonna change. What could happen? A lot of things could happen. Not what I had in mind. <laughs> All right, so we're moving like interstate, I think. Yeah, uh, San Francisco, if I remember right. Yeah, there's only so many cities in America that movies are set in. Exactly. You're not allowed to set them in any other ones. No, fuck Dakota. <laughs> you know what you did, Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> I sure am glad you told me earthquakes are a myth, Joy. Oh, earthquakes are definitely not a myth. Uh, yeah. Definitely lied about that one. My kind of people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy, you'd love New York. Oh, yeah. Sydney, too. We're almost to our new house. Why don't we just live in this smelly car? We've already been in it forever. Plenty of time to think about what our new house is going to look like. <laughs> Let's review the top five daydreams. That looks that safe. One? No, 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 no. This one. Uh-huh. Yeah, all great options. That's the one. It comes with a dragon. Not so good, but, you know, still. We're getting close. I can feel it. I like that they all chip in. Yeah. Oh, oh that's no. Right. There's only so much you can afford in San Fran. It was only $3 million, practically a steal. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to live here? Can you die from moving? Guys, you're overreacting. I mean, yes, you can die from moving. A dead mouse! Ah! Yeah, if you move, like, off a bridge. We're gonna get rabies! Get off of me! No, or you're carrying, you know, large couch up the stairs, fall, crush yourself, go down the stairs, break your neck. Oh, okay. Dad talked about how cool our new room is. Less literal kind of moving. I'm starting to envy the dead mouse. Out. Riley can't oh. live here. Oh, <laughs> wow. Hey, it's nothing our butterfly curtains couldn't fix. It's funny how your perspective changes. You get older. I'm looking at that room like, hmm. I know, same. I feel like, oh man, am I just a fucking total shop? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it's so spacious. <laughs> we'll put the bed there and the desk over there. Let's go get our stuff from the moving van. The moving van won't be here until Thursday. Oh, fantastic. That does sound like moving though. I mean, you said it would be That's what they told me. Uh, I've got oh a great God. idea. Anderson makes her move. She's closing in. Yes. Good call. Just Riley subtly breaking up the fight with her parents. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Hey, and the paper's in the fireplace. Perfect start. You can light a fire. Yeah, exactly. Burn down the whole apartment or house. Grandma. Grandma. Uh oh, we're in for it. Then claim the insurance. Hey, hey you get it. That's using the <laughs> <noggin. laughs> Hold on. The investor's supposed to show up on Thursday, not today. I think the dad just got the days mixed up. Mm -hmm, maybe. He said the movers are on Thursday and the vets says, you know, are coming today. They were meant to come on Thursday. It sounds like he just got the date switched. Yeah, see, you say that, but uh, you've moved house twice? No, no. A lot of times, actually, in the past. Okay. I'm aware that things can get mixed up, but I'm just saying in the case of the movie, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like just a little tidbit that they threw in there. It's like, oh, actually, yeah, he just mixed up the days. It's possible, but having moved probably like a hundred times in my life, I'm going to say it never goes how you want it to. Dad just left us. Oh, he doesn't love us anymore. I should drive, right? You know what I've realized? Riley hasn't had lunch. Yes. Yeast of Eden. I saw a pizza place down the street. Pizza sounds delicious. Yes. I mean, when does pizza not sound delicious? What the heck is that? This time, apparently. Oh, okay, no, what? Congratulations, San Francisco. You've ruined pizza. I agree with you, Angle. I love broccoli, but not on pizza. But also, though, like, there's a menu. Why would you ask for that? Good question. That diner in Nebraska. The spoon stood up in the soup by itself. Ooh, thick soup. Drive out was pretty fun. What was your favorite part? Fitting out the car window. Wearing a seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing a seatbelt. That's just fantastic. Couldn't get any better than that. I like that they didn't make fear the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yes. just look behind you. Oh, I like that time with the dinosaur. Oh. Oh, and they're becoming sad. That's right. Wait, what? What happened? Hey, stop it. She did something to the memory. I just touched it. Can't change it back? No, I guess I can't. Now when Riley thinks of that moment with Dad, she's gonna feel sad. God, if you were Joy, you would just be so done. Mm. We've got a stairway coming up. Just don't touch any other memories until we figure out what's going on. This is a monster railing. We are riding it all the way down. Do not fall off and break your neck. Yeah, no. Nah. Don't get me wrong. I've done a lot of rail sliding myself, so not one to judge. That's part of the thrill. Wait, what? What happened? Uh, uh, a core memory! Oh, no! Um, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? You look like one was crooked, then it fell out! There we go. All right. Cool. Sliders. 
I wanted to maybe hold. Stop. Stop it. Yeah, actually. What are you doing? You nearly touched a core memory. We can't change them back. I'm sorry. Something's wrong with me. I, I do like how they get that across, though, that it's like you move and suddenly all the happy memories you have of that place become sad because you're far away from them now. Absolutely. It's stress. I'm awful. No, you're not. I'm annoying. They will. This bitch. You can't focus on what's going wrong. Find the fun. I don't know how to do that. Sadness is not capable of finding the fun. <laughs> She's not supposed to be either. Exactly. Try to think of something funny. Remember the funny movie where the dog dies? <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Jesus. What about that time when Riley laughed so hard milk came out of her nose? That shit is funny. That hurt. It felt like fire. It doesn't hurt a lot. A little bit. What are your favorite things to do? Well, I like it when we're outside. Good! Like that time we buried Dad in the sand up to his neck? And then we tried to strangle him while he was down there. We tried to leave him forever. <laughs> You'd never make us eat broccoli again. Well, I was thinking more like rain. We can stomp around in puddles? More like when the rain runs down our back and makes our shoes soggy. Her name is Sadness. Yeah. Starts feeling droopy. Oh, hey, hey. Why are you crying? That's what she does. Yeah, I know, right? 11 years of this and you still haven't learned? How about we read some mind manuals? Long-term memory retrieval volume 47? Long-term memory data selection via channel sub Groupie. Super fun. Sounds like a fucking riveting time. Love it. <sighs> yeah. Hey, get analytical. That's my jam. Get analytical. Let it go. We've only got half of it to last a month. Come kiss me goodnight. I know. Be I right know. there. Yep. Yeah, just breaking up the drama. Did you hear dad? He's, he sounded really upset. Get ready for a family trauma island. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Was it a bear? There are no bears in San Francisco. I saw a really airy guy. Well, oh. I mean, there are some bears in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> I just got that joke. <laughs> Let's make a list of all the things Riley should be happy about. Our room stinks. Pizza is weird here. Our friends are back home. Yeah. It could be worse. Yeah, Joy. Could be lying on the dirty floor in a bag. Oh, Oof. sleeping on the floor. Gotta love that one. Good times. Definitely hurts the hips. Especially when you're skinny, because you've got nothing between the bone and the floor. There's absolutely no reason for Riley to be happy right now. We should lock the door and scream that curse word we know. <laughs> we all have our off days. The mom bad news train is pulling in. <laughs> Why do you sound jazzed about this? Still not moving, Van. Won't be here till Tuesday. Do, do, do. He loves it when there's shit to be angry about, so. Now, for a few well-placed withering scalps. <laughs> <laughs> he is an artiste. Thank you. Huh? You've stayed our happy girl. Yeah, damn right. Your dad's under a lot of pressure. If you and I can keep smiling, it would be a big help. We can try. I get that it's good to try to stay positive in bad situations, you know? Sure. But I like how they're already doing a really good job of setting up the seeds of Riley being the one who kind of holds everything together in a sense. Mm. You know, she's always staying happy. She's always staying positive. When her parents start to fight, she kind of tries to interject and keep them from fighting each other. Yeah, the nuance, man. That's what I was saying, eh? What did we do to deserve you? Well, you can't argue with mom. Team happy. Sounds great. Totally behind you, Joy. I love that everyone's behind it. Yep. Looks like we're going into R.E.M. Yeah. R.E.M. is coming to ruin your day. End of the world. What's on tonight, Dream Production? Dream Production. Oh, this is it. A new place. Yeah, this is not going to go well. <laughs> Oh no. Of course. Somebody order a broccoli pizza? And yeah, that's the wrong kind of bear. Who is in charge of programming down there? She doesn't know any better. She's using her imagination. I appreciate it. She's in the gaps. I know I'm not supposed to do this, but we are not going to end the day like this. Yeah, good times. Joy saves it once again. I've always enjoyed ice skating, even though I'm bad at it and it hurts me. I love ice skating, but it doesn't love me. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that tomorrow is another great day. <laughs> you have to play that. Well, I have to practice. Yeah, that would be still super fucking annoying. Mm -hmm. Here, I need a list of all the possible negative outcomes on the first day at a new school. <sighs> Does anyone know how to spell meteor? He's on top of it. That's great. Make sure Riley stands out today, but also blends in. The other kids will look at their own outfits and barf. Fair enough. <laughs> That's my daily goal. <laughs> Joy. Yes, Joy. You'll be in charge of the console. And may I add, I love your dress. It's adorable. Thank you so much. I love the way it twirls. <laughs> Train of thought. Right on schedule. <laughs> Anger. Unload the daydreams. Might come in handy if this new school is full of boring, useless classes, which it probably will be. It's school. Of course it is. It's an American school system, so... I have a super important job just for you. This is the circle of sadness. Make sure that all the sadness stays inside of it. Just stand here? Yes. It's not my place to tell you how to do your job. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> You're a pro at this! See this? See this sadness? This is your lane. Fucking stay in it, yeah? <laughs> New friends, huh? I know, I'm kind of nervous, but 
but I'm mostly excited. You want us to walk with you? No, thank you. Um, yep, I'm on it. Nope, I'm fine. Should an 11 year old be walking through a city on her own? I mean, I know that that happens a lot, but is it a good idea? I know, I like wasn't allowed to go to school by myself till I was in high school. Whoa, is she wearing eyeshadow? Yeah, we want to be friends with them. <laughs> Let's go talk to them. We're not talking to them. We want them to like us. <laughs> Almost finished with a potential disaster. Spontaneous combustion getting called on by the teacher. We have a new student in class today. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. This is not happening. <laughs> Would you like to tell us something about yourself? No! Not at all. Pretend we can't speak English. <laughs> I'm from Minnesota. How about Minnesota? You certainly get a lot more snow than we do. <laughs> <laughs> the weather. Hilarious. The lake freeze is over. That's when we play hockey. I'm on a great team. My friend Meg plays forward. Luckily, I do believe she can still play hockey in San Francisco. So yes. Ice rinks and whatnot. Kind of a family tradition. We go out on the lake almost every weekend. Not quite the same. There it is. We did till I moved away. Sadness. What's going on? We used to play tag and Oof. cool kids whispering at three o'clock. Oh no. They're judging us. Uh, I do like how they actually just look more concerned. Yeah. It's just her perception that they're judging her. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, we're crying at school. Many times that is the case. It's just your perception of what you think people think of you, which is not always correct. In fact, frequently incorrect. Oh, oh, oh. It's a core memory. But it's blue. Shit. No. no! These things happen. They do. That's a core memory! Stop it! You need a core memory over my dead body. Yeah. <laughs> we will purge this from her mind. Uh. Oh boy. Oh shit. She just gets instant amnesia. Oh, stop trying to help. What are you doing? Fuck. Oh, okay. Oh god. Ah. Well, you're fucked now. Good one, guys. She just feels nothing. Yeah. I know it can be tough moving to a new place. Shit. But we are happy to have you here. I really do appreciate the way that they kind of depict depression. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily always feeling sad. A lot of it is just feeling fucking nothing. Absolutely. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy, good luck finding them. Do, yeah, okay. Oh, wait, no, they're brighter. Okay. And now she's touching everything. Where are we? Long-term memory. Goofball Island? Oh dear. They're all down. We can fix this. Yeah, it's not great. We just have to get back to headquarters, plug the core memories in. Riley will be back to normal. Uh, not necessarily normal, but y you can adapt. You can yeah, exactly. walk on. Riley has no core memories. You're not in headquarters. Without you, Riley can't be happy. Well, she also needs to feel sad about stuff. Yeah, sadness is a valid emotion that is useful. It is a necessary you know? emotion. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Because like without sadness, you know, you don't feel remorse, right? Also, just you need to be able to recognize when shit is not okay. All the islands are down. We just do what Joy would do. How are we supposed to be happy? I found a junior hockey league. Mm -hmm. You you pretend to be Joy. Try hard. You can do it. That sounds fantastic. Nope, didn't work out. That wasn't anything like Joy. Because I'm not Joy? Yeah. yeah. Did you guys pick up on that? Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh -huh. Let's probe, but keep it subtle. I like how the designs are pretty much identical. They just got the hair. <laughs> yeah. How was the first day of school? You pretend to be Joy. What? Fine, I guess. Very smooth. <laughs> that was a touch better. Something is definitely going on. But we'll need support. Signal the husband. Oh god, this is so funny. I remember this now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 Jackass. Uh-oh, she's looking at it. That's what matters. Yeah. What did she say? Sorry, sir. No one was listening. <laughs> uh, we left the toilet seat up. <laughs> What is it, woman? What? <laughs> He's making that stupid face again. <laughs> Signal him again. Yeah, yeah, notice sadness is in charge in her brain, and anger is, is in charge in his. Absolutely. That's what being an adult is. That's not how I roll, but sure. <laughs> Riley, how was school? Are you just... kidding me? We gave up that Brazilian helicopter pilot? I'll be joy. <sighs> she just rolled her eyes at us. Oh, boy. Make a show of force. I don't want to have to put the foot down. Not the foot. Hang on a second. Is anger my primary emotion? I think mine is either anger or sadness. I do not like this new attitude. Well, I'll show you. You attitude. Stay happy! Leave me alone! Take it to DEFCON 2! Oh, uh, yeah, sure. When your kid is being emotionally vulnerable, that's when you need to, like, you know, show them who's boss, of course. I don't know where this disrespectful attitude came from. Yeah, that's the perfect time. That'll definitely make her open up to you. You want a piece of this, Pops? Here it comes. <laughs> Prepare the foot. The foot. Jesus the foot is coming down. Ready to launch on your command, sir. Get off! That's it. Go to your room. Oh, no. The foot is down! Yeah, not well handled, but I mean, they're under stress. That could have been a disaster. Well, that was a disaster. Yeah, but like, for Christ's sake, man, just a little bit of perception. Come, 
fly with me, Gachinya. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk out there and that? Yes, that's the plan. It's the quickest way back. Right over the memory dump. If we fall, we'll be forgotten forever. Just follow my footsteps. Joy just pushes her in on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can kill two birds with one stone this way. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Fatality. Things got a little out of hand downstairs. You want to talk about it? Not really. Nah, dude. Where's my happy girl? Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Trying to start up goofball. It's a good effort. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, that island is not lit up. Not the time, dude. Oh, oh shit. shit. Ah! Unfortunately, she doesn't have anything to carry those balls with. Oh, ah! god damn. Oh, god damn. Ah! You could say that she needs a ball sack. <laughs> Carry oh, those hefty balls around. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> oh god, the goofball is fucking gone. Yeah, I'm guessing it can be rebuilt, potentially. Or replaced with something new. Yeah, I mean, I actually don't remember how this concludes. I, so. I saw this when it came out in cinema, and that's it, so, you know. I need some a long time. We'll talk later. Moving is a big deal for kids. Yeah, I did it like well, maybe 10 times when I was a kid at least. That means she can lose friendship and hockey and family. <sighs> Riley's gone to sleep. Oh. Nothing else bad can happen while she's asleep. We'll just go across Friendship Island. That looks a bit tough. Never make No, no, don't obsess over the weight of life's problems. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to go around. You get yeah. lost in there. Think positive. I'm positive you will get lost in there. <laughs> Long-term memory. Endless Warren of Carter. Read about it in the manual. The manuals? Oh, yeah. So you know the way back to headquarters. Kind of. You are my map. So how do their memories work? No idea. Do they have just all of this again in their heads too? Yeah. Show me where we're going. I'm too sad to walk. Oh, this actually feels kind of nice. <laughs> we'll be back to headquarters before morning. This is working. Nah. This is not working. Getting a little exhausted. Are we getting close? Just another right. And a left. And ah, right. are you sure you know where we're going? She's not sure. No. Because we seem to be walking away from headquarters. Yes, sometimes the path to where you need to go takes you slightly further away than you were expecting. Uh, da, da. If you touch them, they stay sad. Sorry, I, I won't. Yeah. Starting now. Oh my god. <laughs> She's been touching everything. That's great. Well, the whole bottom row. Okay. Mind workers. But Joy, we're almost. I also love how she just let her drag her this whole time. Yep. They're in her phone. Yeah, just forget Excuse all me. of that, please. I need to find Lincoln Friendship Island. Just keep Washington, Lincoln, and the Fab one. Forget it. There you go. Yep, fair enough. They got their priorities straight. Those are perfectly good memories. Every cutie pie princess, though. That is critical information. Damn right. <laughs> Nothing comes back from the dump. Yeah. Goodbye, useless memories. Yeah. When Riley doesn't care about a memory, it fades. I feel like these guys in my brain are just a little too overproductive. <laughs> Fair enough. Happens to the best of them. Yeah, except for this bad boy. Triple the song from the gum commercial. <laughs> We send that one up to headquarters for no reason. <laughs> over and over again, like a million times. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Let's watch it again. Yeah. Classic. I love that explanation so much. So accurate. What do you think? Should we do it? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, again. Just fuck you, Riley. <laughs> Do you like it there? Is the bridge cool? What happened with the playoffs? Coach says we might actually go to the finals, and we've got this new girl on the team. She's so cool. Uh, yeah. She did not just say that. Meg has a new friend already? Being replaced. I love that the newspapers always say exactly what's happening currently. <laughs> yeah. We can pass the puck to each other like mind reading. And I got something for you to read right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I gotta go. What? I gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, you would uh you would feel a bit cut. Yeah, especially at eleven. Friendship Island! Oh, yeah, there Friendship goes. Island is crumbling. Mm -hmm. Good news is you can uh build a new one. Yeah, a better one. Stronger, more powerful. <laughs> Hey, those core memories are still important. Yeah. Riley, love that one. Goodbye, friendship. Just have to go the long way. Why not climb over? There's ladders, right? I can see them. I'm ready. There's gotta be a better way. It'd be kind of hard for her to climb, carrying the balls and sadness with her. Yeah, sure. They can't let sadness touch them either. I will take you, but not you. Oh, this guy. Hello. Ah. Wait, hey. That's Richard Kind, I think. The actor, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just the actual guy. <laughs> In her mind. <laughs> is invaded her subconscious and is stealing her memories. Excuse me? Nah. Yeah, that's what he does. This is just an elaborate disguise. I was looking for, um, diversion! What? So long, sucker! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic diversion. Good job. I know you. I get that a lot. I look like a lot of people. No, no, no. Who else do you look like? Everybody. That's what people look like. Bing bong! 
wrong. Riley's imaginary friend. Riley loves playing with you. You two are best friends. Can I get those gloves to check now? <laughs> We're trying to get back to headquarters. Headquarters? I'm Joy. This is Sadness. The Joy? The one and only. Well, what the heck you doing out here? You want to answer that, Sadness? Nope. Without you, Riley won't ever be happy. We got to get you back. Follow me. This is just so tragic that her, like, imaginary friend is just homeless in her brain. That does make sense. So dark. Remember your rocket. It runs on song power. Your theme song. Who's your friend who likes to play? Bing bong, bing bong. Yeah, she's a songwriter too. Yeah. What exactly are you supposed to be? I'm mostly cotton candy, but part cat, part elephant, part dolphin. Get in there. Okay, why not? When Riley was three, animals were all the rage. <laughs> the cow goes moo, the horse goes neigh. That's all people talked about. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Pretty classic. What are you doing out here? There's not much call for imaginary friends, so, uh... <sighs> Kick to the cub. Yeah, that's probably a good thing in the long term. <laughs> yeah. Don't be sad. When I get back up to headquarters, I'll make sure Riley remembers you. This is the greatest day of my life! Not for him. No, it's terrible for him, but, you know. <laughs> Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> he cries candy. I cried candy. Try the caramel, it's delicious. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Here, use this. Oh, yeah, hold on. He's got a bad. Oh, shit. Buddy. How many memories have you been stealing, my guy? Many. Here. Okay, other random shit too. It's imaginary. This will make it a lot easier to walk back to headquarters. Yeah, she got her ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking the train of thought. Of course. There is a station in Imagination Land. I know a shortcut. Cool, good thought. This way. I'm so glad we ran into you. Oh, I did like this bit. Okay. The station is right through here. I don't remember, but it sounds great. I read about this place in the manual. We shouldn't go in there. Why not? It's not safe. This is abstract thought. Yeah, there we go. I go in here all the time. Yeah, he can go in there. It's a shortcut, you see? D-A-N shortcut. You can if you want to die. Sure. I'm closer to the station. Let's go around. Almost there. I mean, to be fair, in the time that they talked about it, they could have crossed. This is true. Riley needs to be happy. Bing Bong knows what he's doing. He's part dolphin. They're very smart. Not this one. He blew all his money on instant lottery tickets. But he is Bing Bong and you are not. He got the dumb part of the dolphin. But he can be an abstract thought. Yeah, sure. Their core primary, you know, emotions, you know what I'm saying? Riley going to therapy years later. So when did you stop feeling? Feeling happy. Oh, around about the time my joy turned into an abstract thought. <laughs> what abstract concept are we trying to comprehend today? Loneliness. I'm gonna turn it on for a minute and burn out the gunk. Oh. Uh, shit. Oh boy. Oh no, they turned it on. Never seen this before. Ah! <laughs> my beautiful face. No. Concerning. What is going on? We're abstracting, not objective fragmentation. I do like that. That's clever. Okay. Yep. Yeah, interesting. Oh! We're in the second stage. We're deconstructing. I can't feel. My legs! Oh, there they are. <laughs> Come here, me! We gotta get out of here, Papu! Let's reconstruct. Yeah. We'll get stuck here forever! Oh. Why do we come in here? It's a shortcut! I mean, I guess it's technically a shortcut if you make it out. <laughs> Oh. Oh no. Okay. Now they're 2D. We're two dimensional. We're getting nowhere. I'm lacking depth. <laughs> lacking depth. We can't fit. <laughs> We're not figurative. The last stage. Okay. Nah, this, this is pretty great. Yeah. Wait. We're, we're two dimensional. Fall on your face. Very interesting. <laughs> okay. Sure. That works. Uh, you're going to miss the train. Uh, Stop. You're too abstract. Well, hey, they're reforming. We should not have gone in there. They really should put up a sign. <laughs> There's another station. The train always stops there. This isn't another one of your shortcuts, is it? Yeah! <laughs> Most definitely. Is there really another station? Through there. Welcome to Imagination Land! Sweet. This should be fun. Oh, great. Now I just can't not think of the South Park episode. I know. That was the first thing I thought, too. Trophy Town! Everyone's a winner! Scoring a goal! Yay! <laughs> I won first place! Me too! Participate! Participation award. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be you. Yep. It's Cloud Town. Oh, it's so soft. Let me try. Hey, <laughs> you better fix that wall or else you're in big trouble. Uh, did Bing Bong just murder that man? I think he did. Oh. I'm pretty sure he just killed a man. Yeah, that's murder, my dude. Hey, look, the house of cards. Do not go in there. Yeah, no, don't. Kevin Spacey looks about. You rock it. I stashed it in there, and now I'm all set to take Riley to the moon. Dude, this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Great. Just a trail of destruction everywhere he goes. There's always something new like... Who the heck is that? Imaginary boyfriend. Oh my god. I would die for Riley. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen him before. I live in Canada. Okay, sure. Anyway, this way. We're nearly to the train. I would die for Riley. You know, when she was in Minnesota, the Canada situation would not have been that far away. Yeah, it's just foreign enough to be dangerous, but not so much that it's too threatening. But also close enough that she could actually be potentially meet them. There you go, see? Gotta go. Good luck, sweetie. If she tries to use Hockey Island, it's going down. I've recalled every hockey memory I can think of. She's about to play. Hurry. <laughs> okay. Why not just put them all in? I don't know. Aha! We did it, gang! Hey, Hockey Island is technically active. Oh! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> she has forgotten how to play. Shit. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Okay, so that's why you don't put them all in. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. oh, right in the nuts. Does Fear have nuts? Does Fear have a dick? Why does he have a dick? All things considered, I think if any emotion has nuts that you can then crush, it would be Fear. Yeah, it's true. Do you give him something to be afraid of? That's it! No, 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 breathe! Ah. Rage! <laughs> Go, Riley. Knock someone's teeth out. Hey, it's a useful emotion in this game. Yeah. What's wrong? Let's go. What's the point? It'll be all right. Stop it's saying bad. everything will be all right. I mean, it might be. But that is how I've kind of always approached things. Uh, just everything will be okay. And, you know, things do work out. At least for me. True. But you do need to also acknowledge the bad stuff too. You know, just to have that sense of realism. Whoever said anything about not acknowledging the bad stuff. Hockey? I feel like the parents are not getting on her level in that sense of acknowledging, hey, look, we know that this is kind of shit for you. They're just being like, yeah, yeah, how was school? It's a new school, my dude. Yes. I moved schools, you know, like for the last two years of primary school, it was hell. Yeah, yeah. You can't necessarily fix it, but yeah, pretending that everything is fine can just come off as really condescending. Well, again, not pretending everything's fine. You're right. Acknowledge the issue and then recognize that things probably will be okay. Measuring up how bad everything really is. Like, okay, is it really that bad? Management strategies. Will you really never make any new friends? You Will, will you really never play hockey again. Very unlikely. She can't give up hockey. We have to get to that station. Sure thing. We'll have to Princess Dream World. Oh no. <laughs> oh my glitter. Stuff's down the hall of pain. Oh, oh wow. Jesus. It's all coming down. My rocket. Oh God. It still has some song power left. And now it's trash. Oh God. He's being evicted. No! They're throwing out what little belongings he has left. Yeah, I mean, that's as close to a home as he's got. <laughs> and now it's gone. Riley can't be done with me. Well, she can, but sorry. That's harsh, but you know. We can fix this. The implications for everybody else's imaginary friends is so dark. <laughs> Assuming you had one, which I did not. Yeah, I didn't, but this is just tragic. I had a whole trip planned for us. Hey, Bing Bong, look at this. Mm. Hilarious. Come on, let's go to the train station. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. I'm sorry they took your rocket. Mm -hmm. Acknowledgement. Sadness. Don't make him feel worse. Sadness doesn't always make things worse. It's all I had left of Riley. I bet you and Riley had great adventures. Once we flew back in time, we had breakfast twice that day. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to go back in time to have two breakfasts. I'm a grown up. <laughs> <laughs> we were best friends. It's sad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was the plan all along. It's okay, guys. Just eat candy. I'm okay now. The train station is this way. How did you do that? I'm sad, so I listened to what- Hey! Gotta let it out sometimes. Acknowledgement. Just, you know, you realize it's there, you deal with it, you let it go. There's the train! <laughs> we're finally gonna get home! Dude. Maybe stop knocking shit over, though. These facts and opinions look so similar. Oh. Ah, don't worry about it. Happens all the time. Oh, no. Oh. 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 <sighs> I give this day an F. Why don't we quit standing around quitting? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. This coward's gonna survive. Oh my god. Uh, it doesn't look like you're surviving great, but uh, sure. Oh, uh, that looks painful. Emotions can't quit, genius. So, how did Joy and Sadness leave? I thought we were supposed to be keeping Riley happy. That's exactly how they left. I know. No idea. Ah, ah. All the good core memories were made in Minnesota. We go back and make more. Genius. Uh, you're saying we run away? Yeah, great plan. Perfect logic. I mean, it's just so drastic. Need I remind you of how great things were there? Triple M. Can I ask for the 
<laughs> Riley was happier in Minnesota. Should we just sleep on this or something? I'm sure jolly times are just around the corner. I mean, they, they absolutely could be. Could be. Absolutely. That seems pretty likely, honestly. Huh? Riley's gone to sleep. We're all on break. I guess they're conscious thoughts. Mm -hmm. How about we wake her up? How could we possibly? <gasps> I guess there's a way. How about we wake her up? Great idea, George. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Totally grossing your ideas. Whoa. This place is huge. I can fly. <laughs> oh yeah, the old falling dream. I remember that one back in the day. I love the fucking posters. Rainbow Unicorn, she's right there. My friend says you're famous. Sadness, don't bother Miss Unicorn. I loved you in Fairy Dream Adventure Part 7. Fairy Dream Adventure Part 7. I wonder what that means. Oh well, let's go in. <laughs> Stop following this guy into mysterious doors. <laughs> Today's memories are in. We've got a lot to work with. The writers have put together a killer script. Dope. Yeah. Pretty lucky that it was Fia who got dream duty. We could scare her. Scare her? She's been through enough already. Okay. Sadness, you may know your way around down here, but I know Riley will excite her awake. That's never happened before. <gasps> that work? It is still a possibility. That never happened to you. No, I've never woken up from joy. Ah, fair enough. I have. Oh, good for you. Hey. Put this on. I don't think that'll work. Add the reality distortion filter. Riley is the camera. <laughs> Before we begin, she has one bad address. <laughs> Would you like to stand up Cameron? yourself? My name is Riley Anderson. That's great. Nice. Her teeth are falling out. That's oh, God. Oh, yeah, I'm used to that one. <laughs> Fantastic dream, guys. Let me guess, we have no pants on. She came to school with no pants on. <laughs> Called it. I don't think this happy thing is going to work. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's going on? Random bullshit. Gotta love it. That makes sense for a dream. Woo! That's funny. This isn't working. <laughs> That's concerning. <laughs> Brilliant. Sadness, come back here. Reconnect. Reconnect. Oh, shit. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. Well, she might wake up from fear, so... Call security. Hi, Riley. It's me. Bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh, shit. Sadness, you are ruining this dream. You're scaring her. But look, it's working. It is working. That's what people wake up from the most in dreams. Most frequently, it's fear. Stop right there. Put a pan away. Hey, what's up? Boo. Pick a plot line. <laughs> I know people in headquarters. Hey, uh, who's got the bag full of memory bowls? He does. Ah, I see. There go the core memories. Shit. Yep, okay. I see. That's not good. Oh, God. What did they throw them? Into a deep, dark pit. What is this place? The subconscious. Oh. It's where they take all the troublemakers. I feel like undesirable things should not be put in your subconscious. I feel like that's how a lot of us develop problems later in life. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't get to call the shots down there, so. It says my hat. It says my hat? That's what I wrote in my hat. What are you talking about? That, you've got my hat. Hey, give me my hat back, asshole. Yeah. Hey, you! You caught us. Get back in there. <laughs> <laughs> Good plan. Brilliant. How are you gonna get out? We'll figure it out as we go. Gotta be adaptable. It's where they keep Riley's darkest fears. Broccoli. <laughs> broccoli? Okay, seriously, broccoli is not that bad. The stairs to the basement. It really isn't. Even when I was a kid, I never thought it was that bad. I actually like it. And I hate vegetables. You do, that's true. Consistently across the board. Would you walk quieter? I'm trying. Candy wrappers. Has been eating his own tears. Yeah, that's, we'll call it normal because they're candy, I guess. What a sad, sad cycle. Bing bong. Oh, wait, he wasn't eating them. Oh, Ew. Right. I guess that makes sense. It's jangles. Who's the birthday? Who's the birthday? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Bad memory. Bad memory. Fair enough. I mean, the fear of clowns thing seems to be uh, pretty widespread. I've never been able to relate to it, but I feel sorry for you if you have. Do you have the core memories? All he cared about was the kid. For me, it's because I saw the first It when I was on TV in like 94, and I was like six. Yeah, I've heard a lot about that. You know, six-year-olds probably shouldn't be watching. That. No, but that's like you just know. a massive thing that so many people have seen the original It when they were like children. So many people in our generation, at least. Yeah, because it was on TV. Let's get to that train. We still have to wake up Riley. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Hey, what's up, man? Good morning. How you doing? Hey, sadness. Did you hear about the party that we're having? Oh. Isn't it a birthday party? So joy and sadness can feel fear as well. Apparently. Birthday? Cake present. Birthday? They've definitely got their own little headquarters up inside their own brains. Follow us. <laughs> right? Yeah. Has to be. It's just a never-ending cycle. Okay, but it's my handwriting. I wrote no, that. No, but this one's my handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> 
Why did they ever keep this guy in? I don't know. Oh, great, great dream. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's a nightmare. The birthday girl! Yep, that'll happen. <laughs> There we go. And then he went on a murderous rampage, killing thousands. <laughs> Guess who's on their way to headquarters? We are! Yay! 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 <laughs> he did it again. We were naked and there was a dog. It was a dream. We can't even get a good night's sleep anymore. So why'd you leave him in charge? That's a good question. Time to take action. Who's with me? Yeah, let's do it. Ah, great. The old running away as a child. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. She took it. There's no turning back. She's 11 now. She knows everything. Mm. She'll be fine. How are we going to get to Minnesota from here? Why don't we go down to the elephant lot and run an elephant? Hey, that sounds nice. We're taking the bus. <laughs> I made it like, what, 50 meters up my street before I realized, oh, this is a bad plan. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I didn't even make it out the door. I was like six or something. And I was, you know, giving my mom an attitude. I was like, I'm going to run away. She just opened the door and it was like pitch black outside. And she was like, yeah, yeah. go on, go. Go hard. And I was like... I'll go tomorrow, show you. <laughs> Yeah, good times. I still had my pride. Yeah, see, I was about 10 or 11, so same as her. Packed up what things I thought was important. Got about halfway down the street and I was like, wait, where am I going? Shit, I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> that was embarrassing, but you know, I mean, I was a kid. This was so well thought out. <laughs> How do we get money? Mom's purse. Where was it we saw it last? Triple them come. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, fantastic. Mom and dad got us into this mess. They can pay to get us out. Oh, yeah. Steal the parents' money. Great plan. You can see everything from up here. Inductive reasoning. Deja vu. Language processing. Deja vu. <laughs> critical thinking. Deja vu. I appreciate that. That's a solid joke. That was a good idea. Scaring Riley awake. Nice work. She's there for a reason, man. Absolutely. There is a time and place. Wow, is this Riley? She's so big now. She won't fit in my rocket. How are we going to get to the moon? <laughs> that time in the twisty tree. The hockey team showed up having fun and laughing. Great times. Yeah. I love that one too. It was the day the prairie dogs lost the big game. Riley missed the winning shot. She wanted to quit. That's right. Devo. Sorry. I went sad again, didn't I? We can keep working on that when we get back, okay? That's what you do. Time and place. But that's what makes that memory so happy. Absolutely. People forget, I think, that sometimes the amount of happiness you feel is because of the correlation to the sadness you felt for that or other things or related things, whatever. Contrast creates definition. You can't be happy all the time. You would just be. Correct. Wouldn't even know you were happy anymore. That's a good way to put it. Uh-huh. Hey, I'm just stealing your credit card. Oh, and you wow. did not notice. Wow. Alrighty then. That's uh good times. Good one, Mom. Honesty Island? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck off, it's a flying train, really? <laughs> Come on. I guess the plus side here is her train of thought has been derailed, so. She lost her train of thought. She's like, wait, what was I doing? Yeah, literally. It's like when you walk through a doorway and just forget what you were doing. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Okay, nice. Good work, guys. Fucking okay, yeah. Good hustle, everybody. Saviors. And now she's incapable of thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just goes completely brain dead. <laughs> Are we really doing this? We have no core memories. Let's get back to Minnesota and make more work. If we hurry, we can still stop her. Family Island, let's go. Last one. It's a reasonable thought process. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> if it's too dangerous, we won't make it in time. Oh yeah, no way, that's right. Oh, because that's crumbling too. Oh yeah, she's about to run away. Yeah, true story. That's our only way back. Oh, oh shit. shit. Okay, try the tube. Yeah. A recall tube. We can get recall. You could totally recall. Yeah. <laughs> See you after school, monkey. We love you. Oh, I'm so sad that they remade that into a pile of garbage with Colin Farrell. I don't know. It barely exists in my memory. You know, it's just so whatever. Yeah. You know, I saw it and I was like, you took all the good parts out and just left the basic idea. <laughs> Oh, you're really gonna ditch like that? If you get in here, core memories will get sad. Time and place. Just go after. Yeah, just go one after the other. Throw them first and then go together. Exactly. I'm sorry. Riley needs to be happy. Oh, wow. I mean, yes, but... Yeah, but like, damn. She also does need sadness. Yeah. Very important. She's just gonna be that bitch. <laughs> Yeah, see? Oh, shit. That's what you get. Yeah. Bad plan. Okay, 
Hey, sadness, it is now up to you. Yeah, it uh, completely explains depression. Yeah. <laughs> Also, that was a joke. No one get touchy about that because I have suffered depression for most of my life. So I'm allowed to make these jokes. Yeah. Talking about your own experiences and shit. Exactly. Yeah. Oof. Oh. Oh, wow. That's quick. Yeah. Fast acting. Does it affect her though? I don't remember. I'm like, how do you forget an emotion? Joy? Yeah. I don't think you could. We're stuck down here. Yeah. Hey, some of these things are important. You can't put a happy spin on that. And now Joy feels sadness. How interesting. Yeah. To be fair, there is blue in her, you know, color design. Yeah, absolutely. I do appreciate that. That it's kind of like joy cannot exist without a bit of sadness, but sadness can exist without any joy. That is an interesting thought process. Yeah. Do you remember? She used to stick her tongue out. She was coloring. I could listen to her stories all day. She has. Yeah. I just wanted Riley to be happy. Yeah, us too, buddy. Yeah, things things get complicated though. <laughs> She's just like, God, fuck off, sadness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's not fading. I think she'd just be stuck. Kind of in limbo. Yeah, see, that's the other thing. It started off sad. Mm. Marley missed the winning charge. She fell off. Hey, game winners are tough. Mm. You can't hit them all. And I think it's an important memory to have. Yeah, shows that it's not the end of the world. As a healthy human being, you want to remember that shit to like balance yourself out. As a successful athlete, you want to forget that shit so you just keep going for it. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it's an interesting dichotomy, but like generally speaking, hitting big shots kind of requires you forgetting the shots you missed. Yeah, definitely hear what you're saying about the difference between that and being a healthy human being because I would say failure is a necessity for success. Absolutely. Mom and dad, team, they came to help. No, oh, now she's getting it. Because of sadness. That's true. You're getting it. We have to get back up there. Joy was stuck down here. We might as well be on another planet. No. Just because it's difficult doesn't make it impossible. Exactly. Another planet. Or a moon. Who's your friend who likes to play? What you were saying earlier about the connection of joy and sadness, that her light is blue. His rocket makes you yell hooray. Yeah, you're right. The little outer. You know what I mean? Who's the best in every way and wants to sing? There you go. Got to use that creativity. Imagination. Imagination. You've got enough. Keep going. You can do this. Pretty far off. Oh shit. What does happiness and an imaginary friend weigh? Come on! I am curious. <laughs> oh shit. Come on, Joy, one more time. Mm. Got a feeling about this one. No, this is fucking tragic. Yeah. The load will be lighter because he disappears along the way. He jumps off. Oh no, he just bails. Uh, I get it. You got this, kid. You can do it. We're gonna make it! Not we. Gotta love the optimism. Yeah. We did it! Bing bong? Yeah. You made it! Sacrifice. Yeah, this is just so sad. Don't save Riley! Yeah. Take her to the moon for me, okay? God. Yeah. This is so dark. <sighs> hey, the reality of emotions, right? Yeah. Inner workings of the mind. I'll try. Bing bong. Man, they just, they did my man bing bong so dirty. <laughs> Kicked to the curb, was a homeless. I promise. And uh, she just dies. This was Pixar going for the tear jerk moment, you know? Oh, for sure. I was just like, hey, Sandis is important, remember guys? <laughs> We're home. I'll call her cell. It's mom, she's on to us. <laughs> what do we do? My bad, we keep going. Yeah, boy. Oh, goodbye family island. Yeah. Oh no, still kind of there. Yeah. Just falling apart. Yeah. If I were sadness, where would I be? The same place you left her? Yeah. Everything is awful and my legs don't work. <laughs> and you have to drag me around while I touch. Yeah. Hey, as a thought, follow the blue balls. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> no. As soon as I said it. The fact that you didn't mean it somehow makes a lot. I know. Oh no, it's mom again. He should run away! Let's get this idea out of her head. Double backing on it now. Apparently. Sadness! Wait, sadness! 
like, why, why are you running? Why are you running? Feels like she ruins everything. Oh, I get it. Riley's better off without me! Joy has spent literally this entire movie making her feel like shit about herself. <laughs> like she has no use. Your husband was blown away by an elephant. Was he with anyone? There she is! Hey! <laughs> Double homicide. Yeah, it is fucked up, man. Oh, I only make everything worse. Again, not true. I mean, she's kind of like, I just murdered somebody. I've led to the death of so many. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just realized, you know, how many fantastic, amazing songs, movies, stories have been created by sadness? Yeah, exactly. You gotta have a spectrum of emotions. Stop. Oh, great. No, 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 no. What is this? Also, who the mm. fuck let this child get a ticket for this bus? America. Mm. How do we stop it? Make her feel scared. Let me work in one. Let me try. Hey, you probably... Yeah, I do like that. It's like she's going completely numb. Yeah, absolutely. I like the analogy. Ah, guys, oh. we can't make Riley feel anything. What have we done? That's a good question. Did you mean what you said before? I would die for Riley. <laughs> absolutely. Okay, haircut. Time to prove it. Oh my god. <laughs> I would die for Riley. I would die for Riley. Would... Okay, <laughs> yeah. A sack full of sad boys. You could say it's a sad sack. Sack. <laughs> hey, he's on a roll today. Hey. hey. <laughs> That's it. I fold. I fold. The house of cards with the shit. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a plan. I like it. Hope you have enough. <laughs> Guys, remember, you said you would die for her. Oh, then they're going to. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is crazy. No, no, no. Joy, be positive. I am positive this is crazy. <laughs> Hey, hang on. If sadness can fly on a cloud, how come you can't? Yeah, I know, right? This is more fun. True. What's up? See? Joy gives you wings. I wish Joy was here. <laughs> here we are to save the day. <laughs> Shit. Stand back. Oh, that's... <laughs> Oh, no. That worked. Well, what would you do if you're so smart? I tell you, but you're too dumb to understand. Ah, uh, here we go. Nice. Of course your tiny brain is confused. Sorry I don't speak moron as well as you. Smart. Good plan. Come on, let me try. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. Love it. Really Everything's gone to shit. Yeah, pretty much. When the one useless person on the team leaves for a little while. <laughs> yeah. Joy, you gotta fix this. Sadness, it's up to you. Sadness. Sadness. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is true. She gotta confront it. I can't, Joy. Yes, you can. Riley needs you. This is the time. When the fuck else do you feel sad, you know? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you just become the epitome of that dog meme. This is fine. <laughs> yeah, totally. There we go. She's like, hang on, this is a bad plan. Realize just how dumb it was. Yeah. Stop! I want to get off! There you go, kid. Again, this is just the most chill bus driver ever. Yeah. Let an underage girl on with no supervision, stop the bus in the middle of a road. Sure. He's like, yeah, whatever, man. Our teacher hasn't even seen Riley all day. What? Riley! Riley. Oh, we were worried How did the school not call them? That's what my school would do if you didn't show up. First thing they'd do. True story. Well, again, plenty of terrible school systems that just, they're overworked. Yeah. Overwhelmed. Underfunded. It is absolutely not the fault of most of the people working there. I'd say some of the people working there kind of suck, but not all. Oh, absolutely. And look, I don't live in America. I've not been to those schools myself, so I can only speak from what I've heard. Yeah, no, I'm just talking from the experience of like researching different schooling systems in different countries to see how things work, you know? Exactly. Yeah, nah, here we go. Mm. Yeah, man, they are sad memories now. I mean, I'd like to think of them as mixed memories, you know what I mean? There's sadness around them, but they don't have to be entirely. Yeah, hold on, I'm pretty sure they start getting mixed. Yeah, I would assume. There you go, hon. Let it all out. <laughs> Time to confront your emotions. Or confront your reality, I guess. The reality of your emotions. I know you don't want me to, but I miss home. You need me to be happy, but... Yeah, there it is. I want my old friends. Hockey team, please don't be mad. Of course not. Sweetie. We're not mad. I miss Minnesota too. I miss the woods and we took hikes. And the backyard where you used to play. Yeah, everybody goes through it. Absolutely. And I appreciate that from what little we've seen of the parents, they're realistic. They're good quality. But they miss things. But they're not perfect in any way. Yeah, it happens, you know? You get so used to being able to deal with stuff yourself, you forget that other people might not be as capable as you because they're younger, less experienced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all people are people and the parents are just human beings trying to get through it. Yeah, they've got their own shit. 
shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they do love their daughter. Exactly. And there you go. There's a mixed memory. Absolutely. That'd be unsad. Teamwork, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> hey. And there we go. New and improved. Rebuilt. And it's got the Golden Gate Bridge in it now. Like that. Yeah, I saw that. Seriously, if someone could explain why it's called the Golden Gate Bridge when it's red. Oh, yeah. I, I gotta know. Did it used to have Golden Gates? Too many people crashed into them. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Fully mixed emotions. Hey, I'm liking this new view. Friendship Island. Finally opened that friendly argument section. Friendly argument section. I like tragic vampire romance island. Vampire romance? Yeah. Hell no. Don't keep that as a core memory. Your new expanded console is up. Hey, advanced. There's room for all of them. Yep. Oh, oh. whoops. Did I just do that? Hey, what's poop? <laughs> I have access to the entire curse word library. <laughs> this new console is done. Uh, Sorry. Brilliant. Nice. That's hilarious. You get out there, you be aggressive. Yeah, fantastic. You know, you guys will have to come to every game. <laughs> Go, fuck Go, Riley! Oh. Okay. oh my god. Guys, turn it down a touch. Don't be like classic no. sports parents, because um that can go wrong. Just a bit too supportive. Yeah. She loved the face painting. Uh, don't be so supportive that you punch out the ref. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do? I thought this was America. Isn't this America? Best idea he's had in a while. Just in case. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh. Hey. Oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so accurate. Oh. Okay. Hilarious. Yep. Comedy goals. I'm with you, buddy. Yeah. Or it was, you know, back then. <laughs> We've been there. You ready? Yeah. Let's play some hockey. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Get their teeth. We've been through a lot lately, that's for sure. But we still love our girl. She has great new friends. Things couldn't be better. Well, I mean, things could be better, but... After all, Riley's 12 now. What could happen? Oh, my God. Good too accepts you the reality of things are great. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who can tell me what year San Francisco was founded? Jordan! Just showing other people's ones. How much more of this? Aww. Five months, two weeks, yeah. and four days. I appreciate this. Then it's off to the Bahamas with you know who. Wait. Come oh on. <laughs> the same guy. <laughs> oh, consistent thirst trap. It's like the in universe version of um, Fabio or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I know, totally. Oh, I like this one. We're a total fraud. Yeah. Do you think they can see through us? Of course not. Being cool is so exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the birthday girl? Nice. Aw. Hey! Hello? Oh. oh. Poor guy. Okay. Six years of drama school for this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is fine. We just need to go to our happy place. Triple them gun. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> That's pretty classic. See, that's why dogs are so happy. They're all cohesive. Yeah. Oh, this was great. <laughs> Not on the job. That makes sense. Just <laughs> walking over shit randomly. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's quality. Accurate. Gotta love it. Oh, Amy Poehler was Joy. Oh, Joy was Amy Poehler. Okay. That's right. That makes sense. Yeah. That's cool. How'd you feel about this one? Okay. Better than I remembered. With hindsight, being able to see more of the details and appreciate mm. them. Better. Definitely better. I like the nuance of this movie. You know what I mean? No, it is definitely nice. And I think that's kind of its whole <laughs> angle. I think I get a little too caught up on the like cogs and gears of it where I'm like, wait, hold on a second. So if all of this happened in Riley's brain, but this was all necessary for her personal development, does a big disaster like this where joy and sadness get kicked out of the thing happen every time she has a major change in her life? What is the deal? And I kind of overthink those parts. It'd be interesting to see a sequel to this with her being, you know, like 17 or something. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Pixar's very deliberate Deliberately not going for sequels for the foreseeable future. Uh, they made a full statement about it. Okay, I can respect it. Yeah, no, same. Mm. Especially because, mm. I don't know, I found it just myself. Their sequels are not bad, but just never as good as the original one. So I'm like, give us new ideas, guys. That's what you do. It's definitely hard to get a good quality sequel, yes. make it work. Uh, I can understand that. I think often when sequels do work, it's partly because there were plans to be that way. Not always, obviously. Exactly, yeah. Deliberately make the first one as a spring board to go into the second one. But when you just tack it on, it can kind of get awkward. Yeah, obviously there are exceptions. Like, I don't think Terminator 
Terminator 2 was planned ahead of time, and that's no, like absolutely. one of the greatest sequels of all time. But. Yeah, this was good, and I, you're right. I think it's all about more the nuances, more the messages, how we cope with emotions, how we process mm. them, the necessity of negative emotions in helping us to grow and change. The way it makes you think. Exactly, yeah. And I really appreciate it. Yeah, I feel like this was almost more appreciated by adults because they could understand the full depth of it. Absolutely. But I think it's something that you should see mm. as a kid now for those kids out there who have the opportunity and then re-watch it again like late teens, early 20s just to like see how you review it. I do like those kind of stories where it's like I feel like this would be one where every time you watch it again you see a little more than you did last time. Yeah, exactly. Or you see it in a new light, you know, with new experiences to compare it to. You're like, oh yeah. Exactly. You know? Good quality stuff. Not sure what we're doing next but you know, until we get there you've been with Sam. Steph. Where the movie buds. Hey buds, I hope you're doing well. And I hope you're enjoying this compilation. I just wanted to let you know that Maria and I have been posting our own movie commentary and reaction videos on our channel, which I'm going to be leaving links for in, in a card and top descript, wait, top description? Yes. <laughs> in the description and top pins and all that stuff. So if you want to check out any videos that we've done, we just posted Freaky Friday and we've got more on the way. You know where to find us. Hey bud, how's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Terry, we all have a light inside of us. You need a dimmer switch. Welcome back to another movie commentary. My name is Sam. Steph. Weather, Weather movie, movie buds. buds. Back on the couch. Yeah, it's about time. It feels good. Good to be home. Yeah. All Zootopia right. is a movie that we both love a lot. Oh, yeah. This is uh, hands down one of my favorite Disney movies. Yeah. I know that like objectively, it's not the most amazingly spectacular, like masterful piece, of the, but I just like it. I don't know. It just vibes with me. You it's know? a fun story. It's a good one. So Disney introduced a whole generation to furries. I mean, weren't they already doing that? No, they committed now. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> a line was crossed with this film. I see. <laughs> Also, comment if you're from a country where it's called Zootropolis. Thousands of years ago, predators had an uncontrollable urge to mate. And when I first saw this intro, I was like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> just such a good opening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then she just goes hell overboard on the blood. Fantastic. She's an artist, yeah. okay? Death. Uh, cinema. <laughs> I think she missed her calling becoming a police officer. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Then the world was divided, vicious predator, or meek prey. Super dark when you think about it. I love how they misspelled vicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crossed it out. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, they didn't have another box. <laughs> yeah. Move beyond our primitive ways. Predator and prey live in harmony. Yay. Gotta love the interpretive dance. Yeah. I don't have to cower in a herd. I can be an <laughs> astronaut. Then there's this legend. Yeah. I don't have to be a lonely hunter. I can hunt for tax exemptions <laughs> and actuary. That's big dreams, man. Yeah. I can make the world a better place. Going to be... <laughs> <laughs> I really love the sound effects, dude. <laughs> the flourishes are everything. Yeah. Police officer! The most stupidest thing I ever heard. It may seem impossible to small minds. Looking at you, Gideon Gray. Huh. You're right. It does seem impossible. Cold out. You ever wonder how your mom and me got to be so happy? Nope. <laughs> Oh boy. We gave up on our dreams and we settled. Oh, that's, that's so brutal. <laughs> oh, yes, we settled hard. We yeah. settled hard. <laughs> oh, doesn't she know it? Every morning when she opens her eyes, like, oh, there it is. The choices I made. Yeah. <laughs> There's never been a bunny cop. I guess I'll have to be the first one. Gonna make the world a better place. Ah. The optimism of youth, though, right? Oh, yeah. You gotta love it. Life hasn't gotten its scrubby mitts on her yet. No better way to do it than becoming a carrot farmer. Your dad, me, your 275 brothers and sisters. I loved that. The as 275 well. brothers. <laughs> And sisters. I like how it's consistent with rabbits, but then yeah. like, how many rabbit families are there? Yeah. That's a concerning thought, right? It's kind of like, huh, maybe the predators should go back to eating people. Yeah. <laughs> it's great to have dreams. Just as long as you don't believe in them too much. He's already gone. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Give me your tickets. Cut it out, Gideon. What are you going to do, cry? I mean, yes. Yes. Somewhat. <laughs> maybe I will. <laughs> Return my friend's tickets. Come and get them. But watch out. Killer instinct still in our dinner. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much sure it's pretty DNA. I fucking forgot that no, line. It's definitely Dunner. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. Yeah. You don't scare me. <laughs> Cry, little bunny. <laughs> yes, use the legs. I mean, rabbits do have powerful feet, right? Rabbits will fuck you up. Ah, okay. You don't know when to quit, do you? <laughs> 
Remember this moment. Next time you think you will be anything more than just a stupid bunny. I do believe she will remember this moment. Oh, yeah. And use it as motivation. It always goes one of two ways. True story. Are you okay? I'm okay. Here you go. Oh, that's right. Hey, she got the tickets back. You're awesome. That Gideon Gray doesn't know what he's talking about. He was right about one thing. You think he would have noticed and then come right back? Just no, kicked her ass again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know when to quit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love that. Utopia has 12 unique ecosystems. You're gonna have to master all of them before you hit the street. But nah, man, like rabbits are brutal. Okay. My mate owned two and they got into a fight and one of them tore half of the other's face off and the other one got part of its spine ripped out. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they are full on. Okay. Oh. You're dead, carrot face. Bridget eyes full. I actually really like this yeah. opening montage or whatever. You're dead, Pond girl! Gonna need a montage. Montage! <laughs> Why would they not at least have smaller- oh, I guess that's kind of the point, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Because none of this stuff was made for the meek prey. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, not a one-to-one -one comparison, but yeah, they really do a good job of getting the gist across. Mm. Oh, the details in this are fantastic. Oh, yeah. I love how much thought really went into what would things look like if they're being used by an animal of this size rather than a person, you know? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Wow. Self punch. Why do you keep hitting yourself? Yeah, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. My mammal inclusion initiative produced its first academy graduate. Ah, uh, JK. Ah, uh, yeah, JK Simmons. Love it. CPD's first rabbit, Judy Hop. <laughs> Did you leave, like, a large portion of the family behind, or...? They don't know where half of them are. They lost track a long time ago. Yeah, how would you keep track of that many kids? <laughs> They're nature's problem now. Oh, God. It is my great privilege to assign you to the heart of City Center. That's right. You guys are surprised? Congratulations. I won't let you down. It's a real proud day for us little guys. Make room, will you? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Did you say get the fuck out of here? I get the fuck out of here. Oh, you should have said flock. You missed a pun there. <laughs> but cultural authenticity. We're real proud of you, Judy. Kind of a proud scared combo. I've been working for this my whole life. We're just a little excited, but terrified. Definitely excited. That's what we are. The only thing to fear, fear itself. Also bears. <laughs> That's just a flagrant racist. Lions and weasels. You play cribbage yeah, with uh, a weasel. Yeah, and he cheats like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Foxes are the worst. Your father does have a point there. It's in their biology. Oof. Remember what happened with Gideon Gray? The jerk who happened to be a fox. Plenty of bunnies. Jerks. Absolutely. But just in case, we made you a little care package. <laughs> there it is. A large portion of your brothers and sisters? Yeah. Assholes. Just yeah. trash. They suck. Trash. There's a reason we abandoned them. <laughs> yeah. Check this out. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh my god. Why is it a fox specific taser? Yeah, wouldn't you just have a taser in general? <laughs> yeah. No need for a fox taser. I will take this to make you stop talking. Okay, this I love with the tiny little doors. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I mean by the detail. They always put in the extra effort and I love it. Absolutely. I love you guys. Love you too. Bye, everybody. Yeah, depending on how much biological accuracy they're going for, statistically, the mom ate at least several of the kids. Ooh. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love this. The population counter just yeah. keeps going on. Just constantly. <laughs> at a certain point, you think that would be a problem. Yeah. Also, I've definitely got to mention the fucking choice puns they have for, like, the artists on her iPod. Mm. Like, the fur fighters. A lot of the puns are good. Yeah. But then somehow they couldn't come up with a good pun for Shakira. She's just gazelle. Gazelle, yeah. It's like, she's <laughs> they, a gazelle they named just, gazelle. Look, they just phoned it in there, okay? Just, there was a long process, put a lot of effort, a lot of thought into it. At that point, they were just like, man, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. You couldn't be like Gazira or something? Yeah. Right? That would have made sense. But no, whatever. But I guess they were trying to really press that it's a separate character, you know? Even though it, it isn't. It, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> God, now I say it every damn time, but animation quality. Yeah, I know. Yeah, usually I'm not into Shakira, but song's all right. Sure. I mean, I've always, uh, I guess, liked her, but I'm not really a fan of that style of music, I guess. Mm, fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, no, the amount of detail that went into this is freaking great. And there was supposed to be even more. There was even meant to be a section of the city that was for marine mammals, oh. like whales and seals right. and stuff. But then they were like, ah, not enough time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, like,
like one of the only times I've seen an animal movie where the proportions are consistent. Yeah, I love that. I love the fucking <laughs> hat stuff. That one dude just like forgets to leave and gets yeah. fucked up. Welcome to the Grand Pangolin Arms. Luxury apartments with charm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Complimentary delousing once a month. That's what we call the mold. Charm. Yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome to the big city, right? I'm Judy, your new neighbor. Well, we're loud. Don't expect us to apologize for it. <laughs> Icons. Yeah. Rickety bed. Straight into it. Crazy neighbors. I love it. <laughs> For now. 5.30. Man, I'm going to bed at that time. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. I mean, not me, but... Trying to fix it, but yeah. yes. Uh. Mm, and there it is. Yeah. They really did hire a bunny. You are even cuter than I thought you'd be. You probably didn't know, but... Oh, this is so good. A bunny can call another bunny cute when other animals... Do it. I am so sorry. The guy everyone thinks is just a donut loving cop stereotyping. He does love donuts though. Actually, um, got there's a. Where you went, you little dickens? Oh. So. No, he's a man of culture and taste. See, he has a variety of oh. different flavor profiles. Variety of different donuts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Full pens over there to the left. I guess he's got that cereal there. So. Yeah, see? That poor little buddy's gonna get eaten alive. <laughs> <laughs> You're so okay with this. Yeah, I love how casual he is yeah. about that. <laughs> One thing I do really like about Clawhauser as a character mm. is like he's an overweight cop and mm. that's a stereotype, but he's an overweight cheetah yeah. and they're known to be fast and lithe. So yeah. simultaneously, yeah, it's good. You ready to make the world a better place? Idris Elba. Fuck yeah, Idris Elba. I've got three items on the docket. Got Knuckles in the house. Oh, is he playing Knuckles? Nice. And he does not chuckle. Sick. The elephant in the room, Francine. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> New recruits with us I should introduce. I'm not going to because I don't care. Nice. We have 14 missing mammal cases. All predators, City Hall is right up my tail to find them. I mean, you think that they would be. Assignment, Rizzoli, Fangmai, Rainforest District, McHorn, right of it. <laughs> More corn. Higgins, Snarlow, Trunkaby, Undertown. I like how they're also like just mixed in with normal names like Higgins. Mm. Our first bunny. Hops. Parking duty. Obviously. Yeah. It is your first day. They are 100% underestimating her, but it is also your first day. <laughs> like, what other job are you going to get yeah. on your first day? The shit one. No, no one else wants to do. Yeah. You said there were 14 missing mammal cases. Well, I can handle one. Top of my class at the academy. You and like a third of the other officers here. Yeah. Didn't forget. Just don't care. I'm not just some token bunny. Then right in 100 tickets a day should be easy. I definitely don't love the, not necessarily the part of the movie, but just the implication of cops having a quota of how many tickets they have to write. I'm not going to write 100 tickets. I'm going to write 200 tickets before noon. And like, well, um, but what if not that many people broke the law, though? Yeah, they'll just um, yeah, find more. That part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, how is it that they have a tiny cop car for her, but she's the, the only first person? Bunny. Yeah. Oh, otters are pretty small. Ah, uh, okay. I guess, and yeah. you know, other smaller animals. And maybe they would have otter cops. We just yeah. don't know of any. All the otters. Mm. What if I said, I'm not like the otters? <laughs> I'd call you a racist piece of shit. <laughs> I'm not like those otters. <laughs> that fucking, that <laughs> fucking brilliant. Yeah. Oh shit, that reminded me. Do you know the original mm. premise for this? No. Nah. Super fucked up. Essentially, predator animals had shock collars that shocked them anytime they felt extreme emotion. And the story was actually going to revolve around Nick being the main character, creating mm. a theme park where predator animals could illegally take off their collars and just like cut loose and do their thing. Uh -huh. And Judy was going to be the cop investigating him. I'm glad they didn't do that. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I love how she gives herself a yeah. ticket. Now I have over quota. Yeah, exactly. You can't say you prevented crimes that you were committing, Hops. That's not yeah. how it works. Hey, watch where you're going, Fox. Where'd he go? Thinking he's sus just because he's a fox. Yeah. Also, that's just gross. Yeah, it is. That's your nose. Yeah, it's like in your nose. I know. But I don't want any trouble in here. Buddy. Simply want to buy a jumbo pop for my little boy. Yeah, I did love the bit. Yeah. With, with these guys. You want the red or the blue, pal? I appreciate that no one questions that this is his son. Yeah, I know, right? Despite the fact that they're two different species. There aren't any fox ice cream joints in your part of town. Well, I guess that's kind of thing. All foxes look the same, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, he loves all things elephant. Wants to be one. That is super cute, though. Yes. How come I to crush his little dreams, huh? You're Nick Wilde. Now crush away. Yeah. <laughs> we reserve the right to refuse service to anyone. Yeah, I never did like that, personally. Uh, 
Segregation? That, yeah. <laughs> In a nutshell, yeah. Oh, like, <laughs> hey, guys, racism is bad. Hot take. <laughs> right? I've never come across this opinion before. <laughs> yeah. Like, kind of a visionary. Yeah. Excuse me. Are your customers aware they're getting snot and mucus with their cookies and cream? <laughs> you think oh. they would be, but... It's not like they're hiding it. Scooping ice cream with an ungloved trunk is a class 3 health code violation. And <laughs> also just gross. Kind of a yeah. big deal. Like, even if it's not a health code violation, <laughs> wouldn't you look at that and be like, uh, no. I could let you off with a warning if you finish selling this nice dad and his son a... A jumbo pop. $15. And I know technically this is a hustle, but mm. he is paying for it. Oh, it's totally <laughs> legal. Are you kidding me? I don't have my wallet. Well, he, oh, he, he would have been yeah, normally. Yeah. Almost there. Gotta be about the worst birthday ever. Please don't be mad at me. <laughs> of course. You get to lay that on there. Fantastic acting. Keep the change. The amount of money they make back from this hustle, oh, it's like amazing. 15 bucks. Come on, man. <laughs> so kind, really. Yeah, they couldn't just spend 15 bucks. I know, right? Burns me up to see folks' backward attitudes toward foxes. <laughs> oh, God, I love that. You're a great dad and real articulate fella. Ooh. Yeah. Rare that I find someone so non-patronizing. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nick Wilde. You want to be an elephant when you grow up? You be an elephant. He will. Yes. Anyone can be anything. <laughs> <laughs> Two paws. Yeah. All right. Give her a little bye bye toot toot. Toot toot. Bye bye toot toot. Yeah. That is just amazing. Yeah. I really do love how they pull off depicting internalized racism and prejudice. How mm. a lot of times it cannot even be super vindictive or, you know, meaning harm or anything. It's just yeah. that's how you got raised. Your parents taught you that's how things are. And you've internalized it. Even if you can consciously be like, I know this is wrong, but mm. every now and then. Well, there are times when you just don't even fucking realize. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. The van is everything. And I mm. love that he's driving it. Like, wouldn't he have some kind of booster seat or something so he could see better? I think he's already got one. I think he's got as many as he can get. Well, he he's, still can't see them. They've he's, failed. He's also got to reach the freaking pedals. I was wondering <laughs> <Yeah>. about that. <laughs> Organic. This is just a fantastic hustle. Bro. Oh, yes, absolutely. Gotta love it. Lemming Brothers Bank. <laughs> And they just follow each other. Such a good bit, though. Yeah. Did you ever play that game Lemmings back in the day? Oh, uh, I think once or twice. Yeah. Never really one for puzzle games, though. Somebody won't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Lumber delivery. What's with the color? It's redwood. Mm. He's not lying. I also just love that all the, like, rodents are, like, Italian-Americans. Yeah. <laughs> Nine, 40. No kiss, bye-bye for daddy? You kiss me tomorrow, I'll bite your face off. Cool. <laughs> Brilliant. Comedy gold. And you lied to me. Yes. Well, no, not true. It's called a hustle. I'm not the liar. He is. <laughs> Classic. <Just John. laughs> yeah. Actually, I guess he did lie about the whole needing money thing. Yeah, true. And having a son thing. You're under arrest. For what? False advertising. Permit? And I didn't falsely advertise anything. You told that mouse the popsicle sticks were redwood. Wood that is red. It is redwood. Yes. Can't touch me, carrots. I've been doing this since I was born. Really? You're going to want to refrain from calling me carrots. You soon became from some little carrot choke. Oh, Podunk is in Deerbrook County. I grew up in Bunnyboro. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's an actual place. It's a specific place, yes. Naive little hick with good grace. Decides I'm gonna move to Zootopia only to find whoopsie, we don't all get along. The age old story. We've all met that bunny before. Yeah. Right? And that dream of becoming a big city cop, she's a meter maid. No one cares about her or her dream. Oof. Sinks into emotional and literal squalor. She has no choice but to go back home to become, how about a carrot farmer? I love how that line about living under a bridge comes back later. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful now. Yeah, you'd think they'd have a much higher rate of death in this city. People just getting crushed. You would think that. No one tells me what I can be. Especially not some jerk. Never had the guts to be anything more than a popsicle hustler. How do you know that he never tried to be anything else? Yeah, exactly. It's a big old assumption. A lot of assumption. To be fair, he's making an assumption about her too. They're just accurate. Yeah. You can only be what you are. Sly Fox, dumb bunny. I am not a dumb bunny. And that's not wet cement. <laughs> yeah. Did you not notice yourself sinking? Even like your bare foot so like you'd feel you'd it feel it the rage desensitized her yeah yeah, even like that, how they showed the kind of two mindsets of mm. go against all the stereotypes and nah, fuck it, you know? Yeah, <laughs> People I'm People gonna, gonna treat me this way anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be what they told me I am. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> <hurts>. <laughs> <It's fucking laughs> <fantastic>. <laughs> Every single one. I'm a loser. 
<laughs> uh, sad microwave dinners. Bro, that's not dinner. And also, the package is lying. Yeah, it says carrots. Yeah, yeah. Plural. I see only one right? carrot. Right? <laughs> that's false advertising. But, you know, she's not going to go after the carrot company, is she? No, no, of course not. Prejudiced. <laughs> yeah. Her family owns it. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. How was your first day on the force? It was real great. Liar! It's fantastic. Mm. Everyone's so nice. Bonnie, look at that. Oh, Judy, are you a meter maid? No, oh, the safest job on the force. Does that say PB&J, the top left of the screen? Her internet provider is PB&J? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see that. Oh, she's not a real cop. Our prayers have been answered. What? Oh, God. Meter maid, Dad. meter maid, Dad. meter maid. Dad. You could be less obviously yeah. excited. It's been a really long day. I should really... That's right, you get some rest. Maybe after you hang up the phone. Gee, just a touch. There was an alternate take for this scene, which was a lot more heartfelt, where uh. they actually kind of encouraged her. Oh. And it was really nice. Less funny. But it was less funny. Hey, Bonnie, turn down that depressing music. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the meter man alone. Didn't you hear a conversation? She feels like a failure. Oh, oh God. Tomorrow's another day. Yeah, but it might be worse. <laughs> <laughs> That was 30 seconds over. And now she's getting the reality. Yep. Yeah, you're a real hero lady. It's true. She is a hero lady. My mommy said she wishes you were dead. <laughs> she's like, I know. She just said it to my face. Mm. I am a real cop. I am a real cop. You! I don't know why you have to sit here telling yourself this because you are obviously a real cop. Exactly. People are telling you you should hurt yourself. Yeah, people hate you. Yeah. That's how you know you're a real cop. There you go. My shop was raw. Are you a cop or not? Who? Technically, yes. yes. Don't worry, sir. I got this. Go for it. Yes. Stop in the name of the law. Catch me if you can, cottontail. She's just like, God, I've always wanted to say that line. Yeah. Also, that's Alan Tudyk. I know. Yeah. I didn't know that going into the movie, but mm. having now seen it a few times. Yeah, yeah. We got a 1031. I got <laughs> He's got to play some random character in every animated movie, right? Of course. Love it. Part of his contract. The contract he signed with the Actors Guild, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> you freeze! Hey! Another thing I'm wondering is, like, do they have a separate police force? Yeah, for the mice and the rodents and stuff. Because it seems like they don't, but they should? They would have to. You would think. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, whoops. <laughs> a lot of people in a lot of those homes oh, we're yeah. going to have to do a lot of cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, can I oh, first time she's ever felt big. <laughs> yeah. Well, truly huge anyway. Yeah. Fucking huge. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the tubes. Gotta love it. But yeah, riding on that train would be fucking sick. Right? Super fun. It'd be so tempting to screw around in this place. <laughs> yeah. Have a donut cup. Did you see this leopard print jacket? <laughs> Just, yeah. Just come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's supposed to be about breaking down stereotypes. I love your hair. Thank you. Do you feel slightly, um... I feel called out. <laughs> yeah. Wait in line just like everyone else, Mrs. Otterton. There's no line, though. Yeah. She's the right. only one there. There is no one else here. I popped the weasel! Ha. She was thinking of that all the way over. Reckless endangerment. But you did stop a criminal from stealing moldy onions. They're a classy botanical, sir. Shut they... your tiny mouth! Yeah. Get educated. I got the bad guy. That's my job. Is putting tickets on parked cars. Well, uh, that's uh, part of her job. Yeah. It's what you assigned her to do. Mrs. Otterton's here to see mm. you again. Not now! Classic. Mm. I want to be a real cop. Do you think the mayor asked what I wanted? Life isn't some cartoon musical. It can be, though. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Five minutes of your time. I tried to stop her. She's super slippery. Like a real otter. Yeah. <laughs> I just realized one thing, though. Even in an animal movie where there are no actual colors or races, we still have angry black Police captain? Oh, yeah. My husband has been missing for 10 days. Emmett Otterton. Also, th who the fuck else was going to catch the weasel, dude? What, were you going to send the rhino into Little Redentia? There's got to be somebody to find my Emmett. No, they just weren't going to catch him. Mm. Like all good cops. <laughs> That's your job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I will find him. Bless you, little bunny. <sighs> How can you call You're her little? shorter than her. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? She's literally bigger than you. Please wait out here. Of course. I definitely don't appreciate that Judy kind of guarantees yeah. that she's going to bring him home. Like, it's like optimism is good, that. but that's just unrealistic. You don't yeah. know for sure. You're fired. Will not be taking the case. I heard Officer Hops is taking the case. <laughs> <laughs> she will be taking the case. Very lucky. <laughs> yeah. Mayor Lionheart is just going to be so just. It sucks, but yeah, you can't undercut your boss, unfortunately, even if they are fucking wrong. Yeah. Little guys really need to stick together. Like 
glue. I mean, preferably not light glue. Yeah, no, it's made from hoofs. <laughs> yeah. I was also thinking of the whole, because then you'd be stuck together uh, situation. But I hear what you're saying I, too. I know, I'm thinking of where they actually come from. I'm like, did she just accidentally used another racial slur against this person? <laughs> I will give you 48 hours. That is bullshit. You strike out, you resign. That part is bullshit. I think yes. the two days is... Okay. I mean, it's I don't a bit know. rough. I'm not a cop. <laughs> I'm also not a cop. Yeah. Clawhauser will give you the complete case file. That is the smallest case file I've ever seen. You're not in the computer system yet, so resources, none. Oh, wow, that's bullcrap. I hope you didn't stake your career on this one. <laughs> Thank you. The murder weapon. A popsicle. Popsicle. Yeah, because that, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Clawhauser doesn't have that many lines, but fuck, the execution is so good. He has good stuff, yeah. I have a lead. Nick didn't really need to be in that photo for that clue to still yeah, be the same. For sure, but, but whatever. This is for kids, technically. And it was a nice transition. Yes, exactly. Here to ask you some questions about a case. You're gonna wake the baby. I gotta get to work. I think your ten dollar can wait. That's not a baby. Two hundred bucks a day since I was twelve. If you were making two hundred dollars a day, how come you couldn't fork out fifteen dollars for your hustle? Because he was a dick. Yeah. <laughs> you sold Mr. Otterton that popsicle, right? I know everybody. Why don't you get back to your box? Did you just boot my stroller? Nickel Swile. <laughs> Brilliant. Power move. Yep. Under arrest. For what? Felony tax evasion. Oh, shit! Yes. $200 a day. And also hurting my feelings. Yes. $1,460,000, I think. Hey, I'm just a dumb bunny, but we are good at multiplying. Yeah, that was a off. fantastic right. joke, right? <laughs> Quality. You reported, let me see here, zero. Applying on a federal form is a punishable offense. Yep. You never talk about how much you make. Well, to a cop. Yeah, never a cop. In general, polite conversation. Just to be clear, you absolutely should should talk about how much you make with your co-workers. Oh, co-workers, absolutely. But I mean, just in general polite conversation, it's kind of rude to show off how if much you're, you're earning, showing off. You know, it can come off that way. It it's, can come it's off. generally why it's a scene is like, uh, just don't really talk what about it. What if you how make, make Jack? Well, if you make you Jack, walk then around you can talk about like, it. Hey guys, I make $15 a day. I'm not just poor, son. I'm destitute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I hear what you're saying, but yeah, it's just because there's a lot of discourse around the politeness of sharing your income, yeah. and it's like, then people don't know how much they make, and then people get screwed. Social conventions are fucking weird, and they mm. annoy me. I'm just doing my best. I, I know. <laughs> I get what you're saying, yeah. yes, absolutely. My word against yours. 365 days a year. If you want this pen, you're going to help me, or the only place you'll be selling popsicles is the prison. It's called a hustle, sweetheart. <laughs> Hey, he can still make money in prison. Yeah. <laughs> just a bit harder. Yeah. She hustled you girl! I love how this dude just is fucking loving it. I know, right? You gonna need one of these. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking fails. Even though realistically she could book him as well. <laughs> He's like, nah, whatever. Ah, fuck this. I don't know where he is. I only saw where he went. It's not exactly a place for a cute little bunny. Don't call me cute. Get in the car. Sure it is. And also, he fits in the car? Maybe be on top of it. I mean, I think later we see them driving and he does somehow fit in the car, but maybe they made it bigger. I don't know. I don't know. That's why they cut away. <laughs> don't remember the names of which one. Was just Tommy Chong. Tommy Chong. That's the one. Yeah, the fact that Tommy Chong always plays the same character no matter Tommy what Chong he's Tommy Chong is Tommy Chong. <laughs> yeah. Hello? <laughs> We're all good on bunny skull cookies. I'm looking for a missing mammal. <sighs> Dude. Oh, Lemon. Haven't seen him in a couple of weeks. You should talk to his yoga instructor. Can it be such a big oh! You are naked. Yeah, he is. He's covered in fur. <laughs> I know. We're a naturalist club. These guys, they be naked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this this is brilliant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just flagrant nudity. Oh, yeah. oh, boy. Does this make you uncomfortable? God, the depravity of it. It's like Sodom and Gomorrah over here. Yeah. Boy, that's a spirit. Blows <laughs> <laughs> on animals. God. Why is that giraffe holding its ass when it was like drinking water? Oh, that's kind of like how giraffes actually drink water. They kind of like have to do a weird spread leg thing to get their neck all the way down. Right. She'll totally remember everything. Emmett Otterton was here a couple of Wednesdays ago, remember? Nope. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that's right. Nude or not, no matter who's doing mm. that, please don't. Yeah. He was wearing a green cable knit sweater and a paisley tie, sweet Windsor or not. 
Hey, we're subverting the stereotypes. Yeah. The stoner remembers and the elephant forgets a lot. You got into this big old white car. Remember that, Nongi? Nope, you didn't happen to catch the license plate. He just fucking remembers every goddamn detail. He has an eidetic memory. Mm. <laughs> Two, nine, T-H-D. Nick is, yeah, he looked. Mm. <laughs> Told you Nongi has a mind like a steel trap. Wish I had a memory like an elephant. A steel trap that's completely empty. A steel trap full of holes. Seeing as any more can run a plate, I will take that pen. Yeah, she can't run a plate, though. I can't run a plate. I'm not in the system yet. Oh, she's not in the system. But you are any moron. Yes, you very much are. <laughs> Give me the pen. Any moron can run a plate? If only there were a moron around. <laughs> you can't keep me on the hook forever. Well, I only have 36 hours left to solve this case. Well, she can, though. Yeah. Can you run the plate or not? It is tax evasion we're talking about. Yeah. I just remembered I have a pal at the DMV. The real crimes. Mm. Flash is the fastest guy in there. Wait, they're all Sloths? Yeah, yeah, they are. I do like how it's less of a stereotyping sloth thing and more of a stereotyping the DMV thing. Fair enough. that is fucking consistent country to country, I tell mm. you. As much as I do appreciate the bit, I don't appreciate how long it takes to get through the bit. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You said this was going to be quick. Are you saying that because he's a sloth, he can't be fast? Nice to see you. Too. I do like how even the facial expressions are slow. Yeah. I'd love you to meet my friend. Officer Judy Half, CPD, how are you? I am fine as well as I can. Hang in there. Why does he frequently say two words really quick together and then have large spaces? Do. Well, I was hoping you could run a play. For you. I was hoping you could. Today. I like to think that they're all putting this on mm. to fuck with everybody. That's what I mean. I was hoping you could run a play for us. Sure. He's capable of saying two things close together, but not three or four things. The only stereotype that is true about sloths is that they are hateful creatures yeah. and just want to make people suffer. 29THD03. Yeah. <laughs> two. Nine, T -H -D -0 -3. two Nine T HD zero three. Yeah, this was a really genius way to pad out the runtime. Yeah. <laughs> H D zero three D mm -hmm. zero three. You know what a sloth is, right? Zero three. Hey, Flash, want to hear a joke? No. <laughs> he does very much so. Oh, yes. Yeah. He loves a good chuckle. Sure. What do you call a three-humped camel? This is a quality joke, though. Mm. What you call three-humped camel? Three-humped camel. Pregnant. Ha. <gasps> Good Knee one. slapper. <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> he just fucking gets there. <laughs> that is fucking brilliant. Yes, uh, very funny, very funny. Priscilla. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. No. Yes. What do? No. Oh, my God. A three-humped camel oh. pregnant. You ruined the joke, Judy. No, no, no. She hasn't caught up. <laughs> I know. They hear slow as well. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Oh, oh man. Ooh, that ASMR. Yeah. A limo took Otterton. We gotta beat the rush hour in. It's night? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what were you expecting? Close. I will bet you, you don't have a warrant to get in. That was the plan. You wasted the day on purpose. Yes, yes. obviously. I have a fake badge. It would never impede your pretend investigation. <laughs> <laughs> this otter is missing. Should have gotten a real cop to find him. Does seeing me fail somehow make you feel better about your own miserable life? 100%. Yes. <laughs> Look, I appreciate his response, but there is a person missing. Yeah, don't have to be a dick. I guess we're done? We are done. Hey. It's quite rare to find a cop who genuinely cares. Yeah. First off, you throw like a bunny. I wish I could have helped more. So really well. That was a really good arc, man. She yeah. got some air on that. Fantastic throw there. You don't need a warrant if you have probable cause. I saw a shifty lowlife climbing the fence. Uh, she did. This is stereotyping. <laughs> I mean, is he not a yeah, shifty lowlife? It is true. <laughs> <laughs> she got lucky on this one. <laughs> Polar bear fur. Oh my God. What? What? The velvety pipes of Jerry Vol. <laughs> 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 Who still uses CDs? Apparently these people. Some uh, old school types, you might say. Mm. Carrots, if your otter was here, he had a very bad day. Yeah, he did. Those are claw marks. Oh, it's sad. Mm. I still have classic CDs, but I don't have anything to play, to play them, them in. Play them on, right? Yeah. Just stick them into the computer and then rip them. <laughs> I don't even have a CD drive. I have an external one that I attach to the laptop. Nice. He was definitely here. Polar bear fur, rat pack music. I know whose car this is. We gotta go. It's a rat pack. Holy fuck. <laughs> Yeah. The most feared crime boss in Tundra Town, Mr. Big. He does not like me. We're leaving right now. Too late. Yeah. Raymond. And is that Kevin? Hey, Kevin. How about you forget you saw me?
me. That's it. No. The tracksuits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to appreciate the tracksuits. Yeah, naturally. Especially because I finished watching The Sopranos recently. What did you do that made Mr. Big so mad at you? I may have sold him a wall rug made from a skunk's butt. Why? Why specifically there? Why would you do that? I know, right? That just seems stupid. I mean, I know that you're always hustling, but some hustles just aren't worth it. I know, right? It has to be a line when the hustle ends and madness begins. Is that Mr. Big? No! Well, I mean, I guess he found it. Yes. That's gotta be him. Stop talking. Definitely just shut up. So good. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Godfather, Mr. Big, sir. <laughs> yeah. Of course, simple misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> this is a simple misunderstanding. Mm. That'd be really hard to pull off. Yeah. Come here unannounced on the day my daughter is to be married. We were brought here against our will, so I did not know that it was your car. <laughs> <laughs> Look like I give a fuck. I trusted you, Nikki. We broke bread together. Grandma made you a cannoli. How could you do that to her? How did you repay my generosity with a rug made from the butt of a skunk? You disrespected my grandma. Who I buried in that skunk butt rug. Why would you bury her in the skunk butt rug? He didn't know it was too late. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. thought process, right. What are you, a performer? What's with the costume? I am a mime. Why would you hustle a gangster, though? She is a mime. You can't speak if you're a mime. No, I am a cop. Yeah, right? That seems stupid. The, the gangster. Yeah. I'm on the Emmett Otterton case, so intimidate me all you want. With whom you had a personal relationship. Seems like, as far as crime goes, he could have gotten way, way further by just playing ball. I'm going to find out what you did if it's the last. Last thing I do. Hey, why are you assuming? Yeah. I saw. Oh, I didn't see nothing. No, no, no. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> it's time for our dance. You've already shown that he can't trust you. Yeah. No, I sing anyone at my wedding. Yes. The dance, though. You're here. That he has to. I saw. Apparently. Wait. No, no, no. Wait. He's got business. Do you I love your dress. Thank you. I just love that this interaction. It's so wholesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've done me a great service. Hey. <laughs> bachi, bachi. Fucking Nick. Just yeah. like, what? What the hell? Did she just get ahead with kindness? Yeah. He had something important he wanted to discuss. But he never arrived. Because he was attacked. He attacked. He's a sweet little otter. You don't know the first thing about Emmett. My child, deep down, we are still animals. That's where the racism allegory really doesn't quite match up. Yeah. Talk to the driver of the car. Just want to know what happened to Otterton. Should be asking what happened to me. They didn't know what happened to you, though. Emmett fucked you up, clearly. Why <laughs> would they be asking you that? They yeah. didn't know anything was wrong yeah. with you, specifically. He was an animal down. I'm all for Like a fucking filthy animal. He's just back there humping the seats. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, stop, that's leather. That won't come out. He just kept yelling about the night howlers. So you know. Why would he be yelling about that after he became savage? Maybe while he was losing his mind. The night howlers are exactly what we are here about. Tell us what you know and we will tell you what we know. That's right, chorus your way in without a warrant. All you gotta do is ask nicely, right? <laughs> Are you okay? He is not. Very much not. Funny how now his eyes are okay. <laughs> yeah. Run. Well, you know, going savage will mysteriously heal you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, maybe that could work for us. Right? We're just gonna go full beast mode. Yeah. <laughs> I do fucking love the detail of how even when they're on two legs, their physicality is still consistent with that of an animal. It really yeah. is like, what if a bunny walked on two legs? Yeah. You know? Officer Hunt did this fast. Are you familiar with Gazelle? Greatest singer of our lifetime. Who's that beside her? You are one hot dancer. <laughs> so real. I mean, that's true. Shakira was paid good money for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love how he's showing this to like yeah, this great. criminal so that has just got been arrested. We brought in, yeah. We have a 1091. Fine, it's a ginger. It's a hunger. Yeah, Judy, ignorant hick. <laughs> Also, to clarify, getting arrested does not mean automatically that you're a criminal. No. As someone who has been arrested multiple times, I can tell you that. Get in, Karen. Multiple times? Yes. Go! One predator, two another. See, I've just managed to get away with all my shit. <laughs> Now I can tell you're a little tense. There's two kinds of people. <laughs> <laughs> I was very lucky. Do not let go. They do manage to- I'm gonna let go! No, you what? Get a good amount of luck in this movie. Yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong, some good choices, some skill, but mm. also some hella luck. Oh yeah. You saved my life. That's what we do at the DVD. Don't speak too soon. 
like that. That was lucky as hell. Super lucky. Oh, yeah. About to go face first right into the concrete. Oh, that would not have been pretty. No. Mr. Otterton and Miss Jaguar, they went savage, sir. Animals don't go savage. Just a straight up fucking savage, bro. <laughs> I thought so, too. What? He was right here. Hey, that's some bullshit. Yeah, that is some bullshit. Maybe any aggressive predator looks savage to you rabbits. I mean, she's working with an aggressive predator, so... I'm not the only one who saw it. You think I'm going to believe a fox? Him? No, Nick. He's not very aggressive. He's aggressively cunning. <laughs> <laughs> and don't pull anything while you're stretching. <laughs> Two days to find the otter. That was the deal. But sir, we... Badge! Yeah, it hasn't been 48 hours, though. Yeah. This part pisses me off. It's like, he said that during the day. Oh, yeah. Exactly. And this is the night time. Uh, no. What did you say, Fox? She will not be giving you that badge. <laughs> Bogo's just like, fucking what now? Just tosses him. <laughs> <laughs> two days to solve a case you guys haven't cracked in two weeks? Oh. Here's oh. the thing, Chief. You gave her the 48 hours, so technically we still have 10 left. Good day. Hold on. Did she tell you the exact time that they made that deal? How do you know this? <laughs> yeah, I guess she did. She must have. <laughs> yeah. They've spent a lot of time together. Yes. She opens up very easily about her personal life. That is true. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Yes. Well, she saved his life. Thank you. Still. Yeah, but still. Yeah. It was nice. Worth it. Never let him see that they get to you. Things do get to you? Not anymore, but everybody has some shit that gets to them. I was small and emotionally unbalanced like you once. <laughs> and I appreciate that he's not joking. Yeah. Or like actually having a dig at her. Yeah, he's not even judging. He's just telling the truth. I think I was eight. All I wanted to do was join Ranger Scouts. This is brutally tragic. Yeah. This is real sad. I was going to fit in even if I was the only predator, I was going to be part of a pack. Ready for initiation? So messed up. And he didn't do anything to deserve it. He, like, he was totally chill. Raise your right paw and deliver the oath. I promise to be brave. I don't know if any kid deserves this, you know? Yeah, you say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty fucking shitty kid. <laughs> Loyal and trustworthy. Yeah. Even though you're a fox. Oh, oh, what did I do wrong, you guys? No! Yeah, this is yeah. my um, hazing rituals and shit. <laughs> I, I don't like them. <laughs> yeah. Thought we would ever trust a fox without a muzzle? There's absolutely no uh, organization with a hazing ritual that I want to be a part of. Exactly, right? You know what I mean, <laughs> the fact that they literally muzzled him. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> yeah. Kids are assholes. What can I say? Yeah. I learned two things that day. All of them. <laughs> Every single one. <laughs> I was never going to let anyone see that they got to me. If you think yours isn't, you just don't know him. <laughs> yeah. And two. As a joke. <laughs> if the world's only going to see shifty and untrustworthy, no point in trying to be anything else. Yeah. So much more than that. Yeah. Sad. Sad, but unfortunately, that's a lot of people's real life experience. Boy, look at that traffic down there. Yeah. Chuck, how are the things looking on the jam cam? Yeah, default to jokes to hide the emotional trauma. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite angle. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. No, 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 there are traffic cameras all over the canopy. Pretty sneaky, slick. However, hey, teamwork. You didn't have access to the system before, I doubt, is going to let you into it now. Cops didn't think to check the cameras. <laughs> Apparently not. To, like, you know, substantiate her story. <laughs> I have a friend at City Hall who might. That seems Consistent. Some bullshit. Yes. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> this movie's so well thought out. <laughs> Sorry. Sir. Okay, I heard you, Bellwether. Did that rat just flip her off? I like to think so. <laughs> and clear my afternoon, I'm going out. It's just so small they got away with it. Yeah. Sir, you do have a meeting with herds and third. I can just go. go. <laughs> That's Freezing. just uncool, man. Uh, very much so. Assistant Mayor, we need your help. We just need to get into the traffic cam database. And this? Oh my god, yeah. This is not an office. No. Like, holy shit, guys. It's the boiler room. What a dick. So lovely. As if she doesn't notice that. I know, right? It's like not candy. Where to? Also, though, there actually is a real life comparison. Meet someone with curly hair. Mm. Don't just assume you can touch their curly hair. Mm, like, only I can do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rainforest District. Fine into hunger. Traffic cams for the whole city. If you try to stop him, you're racist. <laughs> <laughs> it's the racial Uno reverse card, if you will. <laughs> no, but even as someone who's had, like, yeah, dead yeah. straight hair my whole yeah, life, yeah. I've had a lot of people just be like, so straight. And it's like, dude, fuck off. Yeah. I don't know you. I never get to do anything this important. But he did give me that nice mug. Feels good to be appreciated. Oof. Smell 
weather. I mean, mm. yeah, that makes sense. That's a fun little name he likes to use. I called him Lion Fart once. Let me tell you, it was not a good day for me. Good comeback. Yeah, I mean, if he could call you Smell Weather, I mean, come on. Pretty sure that's like employee harassment. It definitely is. Yeah. I better go. Let me know what you find. You think when she goes to sleep, she counts herself? <laughs> yes. One. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she could just send this to Bogo as well and just be like, hey, help me out. I found yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> Timberwolves. But no, I'm guessing that she's like, ah, but he won't help. Mm, true, yeah. yeah. Bet you nickel one of them's gonna howl. And there it is. What is it with the howling? <laughs> <laughs> night howlers! The wolves are the night howlers! I bet they took Otterton too. That was actually a really good mislead. No, I agree. If I wanted to avoid surveillance, I would use the maintenance tunnel 6B right there. I think you'd make a pretty good cop. Well, yeah, I mean, he's pretty oh, yeah. smart and creative. Yeah. And he likes screwing people over, so. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you routinely break the law. Fantastic. You are specifically in this for the tax breaks. <laughs> mm. Unfortunately, he doesn't really like pushing people around. He'll let his uh, co-workers do that while he skims off the top. The system works. <laughs> <laughs> so much effort went into that animation sequence. Mm. <laughs> Wouldn't he be able to hear that it's like right there? You'd think so. You're going to start a howl. <gasps> <laughs> that is genius. Yeah. It looks like this was a hospital. Man, for a kids movie, they really managed to establish the creepy atmosphere mm. in some of the scenes. Mm -hmm. You know, after you, you're the cop. <laughs> Fucking weak, mate. Yeah, weak sauce. You have night vision. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all clear. Why would you have to tell her that? Yeah. All this equipment, brand new. Smart. Claw marks. Huge claw marks. I mean, what kind of- <laughs> That actually did get a genuine scare out of me when I saw it in cinemas. Really? It's like I was expecting it, but it still just happened anyway. Fair enough. And I even love the detail, like the reflective eyes and stuff. Yeah, They yeah, didn't yeah. have to put that in. Just so good. Is this Pixar? No, it's Disney. It's huh. a straight Disney movie, I'm pretty sure. Wow, okay. Yeah, you know, as opposed to those queer Disney movies. <laughs> well, a lot of Disney movies <laughs> kind of are. Yeah. <laughs> we found our otter. Mr. Otterton, your wife sent me to find you. <laughs> Guess he's in no rush to get home to the messes. Ugh, my wife. <laughs> Chief Bogo handed out 14 missing mammal files. All the missing mammals are right here. Every Convenient. single one. <laughs> Enough! Yeah, she's doing the loaf thing. The what? I want answers. Don't animals do that? You put like their hands underneath. Oh, right. Because I got animals here who've gone crazy and you can't tell me why. I'd call that awfully far from doing everything. I mean, do you know how science works? No. The only animals going savage are predators. We need to come forward. Hmm. And how do you think they're going to feel about a lion? I love how he only cares about his own career. Bogo doesn't know. That's pretty consistent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, would you not have your phone on silent in a situation like this? I always have my phone on silent. I just don't like talking to people. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I do too. Yeah. No. Great, we're dead. You're not dead. Everybody's dead. Can you swim? Yes, I can swim. Why? You can still, like, <laughs> jump in a toilet. Yeah, she remembers her training. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God. See, I'm glad that we see this part immediately where it's like they're not surrounded in water going through that pipe. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like, how long could you not breathe for? Yeah, right. Pops, Judy! We got it, Tom Bogo! Oh, he called it Judy. He was worried. Oh, mm. my God. You are one hot dancer. That doesn't even remotely match up. And he loves it. Yeah. Chief Bogo! Not now. Is that Gazelle? No. No. You are one hot dancer. Yes. Oh, God. Oh! Don't you see I'm working on the missing mammal cases? Yeah, he's working hard yeah. on this missing mammal case. Everyone needs breaks. How about that, sir? Officer Hops just found all of them. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Mm. <laughs> this is Bogo time. <laughs> Get out. I was trying to protect the city. Trying to protect your job. I mean, he can do both at the same time. Yeah, like a real politician. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he get the sunnies? I'm going to say he stole Very them. Racist. Man. Where else would he get them? <laughs> I'm so nervous. Answer their question with your own question. Was this a tough case? Yes, it was. Yeah. yeah. Give the simple answer, too. Yeah. You should be up there with me. We did this together. Am I a cop? No, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should say that. I've been thinking. Maybe you should fill out this form here. Mm, perhaps. It would be nice to have a partner. That's so sweet. I'm sure it would be nice, because nobody else wants to be her partner. Yeah. In case you need something to write with. That is nice, though. Yeah. And that would mean so much to him. Absolutely. Being accepted. Yeah. Because the other thing he said, he wasn't about necessarily being in the Wood Scouts or whatever. Being part of a pack, he said. 
percent yeah. a true story. What can you tell us about the animals that went savage? Are they all different species? Yes, they are. Good start. What is the connection? They are all members of the predator family. Dude. Mm. Predators are the only ones going savage. Yes, that is accurate, yes. No, oh. no it's not. Why is this happening? I still don't know. It may have something to do with biology. And there oh, it is. Oh, God. Why are you speculating? Yeah. A biological component, something in their DNA. Dude. There is no hard evidence to back this up. Can you elaborate on that, please? Thousands of years ago. You're talking to the press and you're speculating. Um, predators. No, dude. Survived through their. What are you doing? Aggressive hunting instinct. Like, no matter how many times I see this, I always like, what yeah. are you fucking doing? Yeah, I almost forgot just how bad she botched this. Oh, stupid. She's like the whole speech about like, oh, thousands of years ago. Like, so what? Yeah. <laughs> It is possible. You're like, you're just assuming. Yeah. They're here to protect you. You can't do that, either as a cop or as a journalist. Oh, yeah, no, just ever. <laughs> it's just a bad move, period. Mm. That's all the time that we have. No more questions. I think it also would have made a little more sense if... Was I okay? Oh, you did fine. Bellwether egged her into yeah. that angle. Yeah. Oh, that went so fast. I didn't get a chance to mention you. Oh, I think you said plenty. But I guess it does kind of um work with the whole internalized prejudices thing. Yeah. What do you mean? Clearly, there's a biological component. I mean, she didn't say clearly, but... Mm, she said it was accurate. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're nitpicking. Well, yeah. I'm nitpicking. Are you serious? I just stated the facts of the case. Mm. No, you didn't. It's not like a bunny could go savage. But a fox could. Nick, stop it. You didn't state the facts of the case. You speculated on what you thought the facts of the case might be. Yeah. You're not like them. Oh, there's a them now. The kind that makes you think you need fox repellent. Don't think I didn't notice that little item. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that you continue to have it on you. Are you afraid of me? Do you think I might go nuts? Yeah. You think I might eat you? Yeah. yeah. Apparently. I knew it. Probably best you don't have a predator as a partner. And he really did believe it. That was Shout at you. Mm. Absolutely shout at you. Totally cut. Were you just threatened by that predator? He's my friend. We can't even trust our own friends. Oh, God damn it. Yep, classic. I know, yeah. <laughs> and you know what the funny thing is? In the animal kingdom, herbivores are more aggressive. Fair enough. Because it's defensive. A caribou is in critical condition by a savage polar bear. Officer Judy Hobbs connected the violence to predatory animals. That would have been hard to deliver. Yeah. I also like how the reporter is a different kind of animal in For from every each country. Version, yeah. I know, yeah. I kind of hoped that we got the the Australian version, but yeah, whatever. We didn't. <laughs> Go back to the forest. I'm from the savannah. You could say that guy was a racist pig. <laughs> <laughs> Zootopia is a beautiful, diverse city. We don't just blindly assign blame. Oof. There it is. But yet, blame is being blindly assigned. Yes. It is irresponsible to label all predators as savages. Oh, Judy, yep. what have you done? Done goofed. It's not my image. I mean, it is, but you know, just nitpicking here. What are you doing? They thought it would be better if a predator wasn't the first face when you walk into the ZPD. You're gonna move me to records. Yeah. That's really sad. That, that is fucked up too. He's such a nice guy. I know. It's by the boiler. Oof. Yeah. Um. This bitch. Oh, what a happy kawinky dink. Yeah. Who could have seen that one coming? <laughs> You're a hero to them. They trust you. Yeah. That's why I want you to be the face of the ZPD. I'm not a hero. Like, I'm glad that you're realizing that. I think she realized how bad she fucked up pretty much instantly. <laughs> True. Absolutely. Good. I came here to make the world a better place, but I think I broke it. The world has always been broken. That's why we need good cops. And I appreciate the bogos not piling on. Yeah. Thank you. I like that line a lot. Mm. Sir, a good cop is supposed to serve and protect. Yeah, supposed to. Mm. Help the city. Not tear it apart. Although in Australia, I don't think that's part of the line at all. No, it's not. I don't deserve it. Uh, uh. They are not here to protect and serve. They still technically act in the capacity. It's what you wanted since you were a kid. Of essentially prison guards. Their yeah. job is to find criminals and arrest them. That's it. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. They have no obligation to help or protect you. Which is why they don't. Yeah. A dozen carrots. Yeah, went back home. Yeah. And then feeling that double burn of fulfilling what Nick said about her when they first met. Yep. Hey there, Jude. How we doing? I'm fine. You are not fine. Your ears are droopy. She's wearing a hat. Yeah, I mean... They're right, but yeah. There's no holes for the ears in her hat. Why did I think I could make a difference? You're a trier. You've always been a trier. What, and you guys don't try? No, they settle, remember? Yeah, that's They're true. They're settlers. And it made life worse for so many innocent predators. They appreciate complacency. Yeah. Not all of them, though. Right on time. I 
loved this yeah. so much. Gideon Gray? Sure is. We work with him now. And we never would have considered it had you not opened our minds. That's really cool, you guys. Yeah. And sweet. It is. Gideon Gray. Hey, Judy. I'm sorry for the way I behaved in my youth. And I appreciate that he seems like a good dude now. Yeah. I had a lot of self-doubt manifested itself in the form of unchecked aggression. And I love that from his language. It sounds like he's been going to therapy. Yeah, he's actually working it out. Yeah. He was an asshole because he had anger issues, not because he was a fox. Absolutely. Hey, kids, don't you run through that Mindy Camp from Holly Sethias. My family, I would just call them night howlers. What did you say? Your Uncle Terry. We ate one hole when we were kids and went completely nuts. A bunny can go savage. Yeah. Yep. Mortal Kombat bunnies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the flowers are making the predators go savage. That's what I've been missing. Sure is. I've been missing drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Quality homegrown drugs. <laughs> That's what everybody's missing. <laughs> you catch any of that? Not one bit. Makes me feel a little bit better. I thought she was talking in tongues. Or... <laughs> I God love that he's damn. still a hick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He hasn't gotten much smarter. <laughs> Just more self-aware. Emotionally intelligent. Yes. Yeah. Who is it? I need to find Nick. How did she find the van? I don't know. Driving around a lot? Nick? Oof. Yeah. This came true as well. Mm -hmm. Night howlers, they're toxic flowers. I think someone is targeting predators. Isn't that interesting? I mean, yeah. Pretty interesting. It is. I know you'll never forgive me. I don't blame you. But I like this scene. Yeah, absolutely. Predators shouldn't suffer because of my mistakes. I have to fix this. I can't do it without you. And I like that Judy perpetuated prejudice, even though she herself has been the victim of prejudice. Yeah, because that is consistent with reality. Consistent with reality and a smart choice for the movie. Yeah. After we're done, you can hate me. I really am the dumb bunny. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> what a tool. You gotta love it though. <laughs> Don't worry, carrots. I'll let you race it. Uh, in 48 hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get in here. Oh, you bunnies. So emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to steal the pen? Yeah. <laughs> you are standing on my tail, though. Yeah. Yeah. It was worth a shot. Yeah, it definitely was. I thought you guys only grew carrots. No, nope, blueberries are also awesome. We are going to follow the night howler. Know this guy? I told you. I know everybody. Anything you need, I got it. Oh, this was brilliant. Yeah, I gotta love it. All your favorite movies. Movies that haven't even been released yet. Get wrangled. <laughs> Wreck it right. I fucking love all of this shit. Floatsin. Giraffic was a reference to Gigantic, which is a movie that ended up getting cancelled. Oh, right. Yeah, it never came out. The Duke of Bootleg. We both know those weren't moldy onions. They were not. What were you going to do with those night howlers, Weselton? Duke Weselton. Nah, you ain't talking. And in Frozen, it was Duke Weselton. He kept getting called Weselton. I some. Ah! <laughs> Speaking of Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you helping her? She's a cop. Godmother to my future granddaughter. I'm gonna name a Jew. And also, oh. she's not a cop anymore. Yeah, technically. Told him night house so I could sell him. They offered me what I couldn't refuse. Money. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I do appreciate that. A ram named Doug. Doug is the opposite of friendly. He's, He's unfriendly. unfriendly. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> that is fucking great, though. <laughs> yeah. That's right. The fucking Breaking Bad reference in this. Looks like old Doug's cornered the market. Right. Didn't yes. actually catch that. This whole sequence, the fact that it's blue. Yeah, I stopped watching Breaking Bad somewhere in the second season, I think. Yeah. So heads up, once again, we are filming the end of this video at a separate time to the start because I had some health issues and couldn't finish filming well, when we actually tried to do this the first time. These things keep happening to us. It's not fun. <laughs> we but... just can't keep it together. <laughs> <laughs> it's one movie. <laughs> I love the hella complicated process it takes to get that one little bowl Dude, of serum. It's quality, me I mean, Night Howler serum. <laughs> <laughs> What's the mark? Got it. I hit an otter through the open window of a moving car. Yeah, that is a fucking phenomenal shot. Absolutely. I gotta say. Not even accounting for wind. Because we're expert snipers. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I've played COD in the past. <laughs> yeah, I'll buzz you when it's done. I gotta wonder how the like horizontal pupils affect that though. Hey, Doc! Walter and Jesse are back, so I'm leaving now. Fucking Walter and Jesse, of course they are. Naturally. Where you going? Get back here. What are you looking at? Whatever you're thinking, stop thinking it. No, don't think it. Just do it. Better have the extra foam this time. Nice. Bye-bye. Love we kept the consistent hella strong kick. What are you doing? We need to get this evidence to the ZPD. Got it. All of it. Wait. Considering how this goes, yeah. the case would have been enough. Yeah. <laughs> Judy just wanted to fuck shit up. It would take a miracle to get this rust bucket going. And there's your miracle. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> got a situation at the lab. It just got worse. The lab is now currently escaping yeah. from us. Come back, lab. Would it be premature for me to do a victory 2-2? 1-2-2. That's cute. I can cross that off the bucket list. It's like whenever I go to bed and need to fart. <laughs> 
That's my victory toot toot yeah. after I finish a nice burrito. I get a victory toot toot. Maybe that's just hail. No. I mean, unless his name is Hale. Yeah. In which I mean, case. He has a like snowy white sort of color. You sure. Know? He's snowy white and he's going to hit you real hard. Yeah. I do love how they were like, sheep will be the stand in for white supremacists. It, ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Pink belly. Pink belly. Pink belly. Watch the head. Whoop. There you go. Every time there's a train chase scene, they do that mm. bit where something nearly gets them on the head and it freaks me out every time. Well, have you seen Speed? No, I'm not. Ah. I've taken it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Not. There's another train coming. Trust me. Stop the train. But what if we don't want to stop the train? Yeah. It's about. He's dead. That was an expert kick. Yeah, yeah for sure. But she has murdered that man. <laughs> oh yeah. You know? <laughs> oh yeah. He just like broke his ribs and punctured a lung, and he's just like yeah. slowly bleeding out. Yeah, exactly. I love that they popped it on two wheels. Fucking Zootopia drift. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is our stop. Initial Z. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there goes all your evidence. Maybe some of the evidence survived. No. Fun ride, though. Yeah, that would have been heaps of fun. Everything is gone. Yeah, except for this. Hey. How did you hide that? <laughs> oh, Nick, yes! Ow. Yeah, where exactly did you hide that? Yeah, his tail, oh. big, fluffy, and full of secrets. Right, right. The detail of the mammoth. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I love the detail in all of this movie. Yeah, true that. Judy! Mayor Pellweather! Someone starting predators with a serum. You did just a super job. Yeah. 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 Figuring it out. How did you know where to find us? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. I'll take that case now. No. Bit late. Nick and I will just take this to the ZPD. Surprise, motherfucker! Yeah, I do like that they also established that Run. Run. sheep and rams will fuck yeah. you up. Yeah, I was just thinking that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, that guy looks exactly as intimidating as he should. Yeah, pretty much. Carrots! And goddamn, ow. Yeah. Yeah, true story. Okay, I just relax. Like real life, you'd have fucked up your tendons. Oh, you God. Fucking... Let's not even talk about yeah. the damage. Yeah. Come on out, Judy. Take the case. I'm not going to leave you behind. I can't walk. We'll think of something. I mean, she's pretty small. You could yeah. probably carry her. I was just thinking that. Underestimated. Piggyback ride. Yeah. Foxy back. <laughs> Prey outnumber predators. 10 to 1. So... Here's where the, like... Think of it. Racism analogy doesn't quite fit. Mm, I know. I'm sure they weren't trying to make it exact. Yeah, they weren't trying to make it exact. They were trying to go for a bit of a blend. It's like, yeah. Huh? Over there! Yeah, it's not how minorities work in real life. Yeah. <laughs> no. ah! Ooh. Oof. Brutal. King hit! Well, you should have just stayed on the carrot farm, huh? I don't think so. Yeah, that would have been boring. What are you going to do? Kill me? No. Of course not. <laughs> he is. <laughs> no! Like, I predicted this twist, but damn, what a good scene. Oh, yeah. There's a savage fox in the Natural History Museum. Please hurry. No. That is so dark. Yeah. Nick, don't do this. Fight it. He can't help it. Preds are predisposed to be savages. It's in their Oof. DNA, right? Oof. Don't forget the dinner. Yeah. To dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was something that I had never really considered as much till I thought about it a little more. Is just the way that they worked in how minorities are portrayed as dangerous or mm. more prone to mm -hmm. violence. Mm -hmm. So therefore, excessive police force it's is totally just, necessary. Totally justified. He reached for his wallet, but it could have been a gun. Why? Why would it have been a gun? Why is it more likely to have been a gun from him than yeah. anyone else? Yeah, fancy that. Prey fears predator and you stay in power? Pretty much. Fear always works. Yeah. Nothing always works. It's true. A lot of the time. Yeah. Okay, see, at this point, he was just having fun with it. I know. He didn't have to do this. Bye bye, buddy. I love this. <laughs> blood, yeah. blood. And scene. Yeah. <laughs> the Oscar goes to Judy Hopps. Yeah. We got it up there. Thank you. You laid it all out beautifully. Amazing. Are you looking for the serum? Right here. Those are blueberries. I love yeah. that. Yeah. You should try some. It's my word against yours. Or uh, is it? Actually, I'll dart every predator in Zootopia. Buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's your word against yours. It's called a hustle, sweetheart. Oh, love beautiful. it. Beautiful. Cinema. I will say, I think both of us, even the the first time watching this saw the twist coming. Oh yeah, absolutely. However, it's still good. It's still great. My only mm. complaint about it is that I just wish there had been more of her as a villain. Yeah, or more, more lead up to her more as lead a villain. Up, more set up because yeah. I feel like some Disney movies commit so hard to the idea of no, it's got to be a twist that it can almost feel a bit jarring. 
Oh dear. Yeah, they got that quick. They did. Bellwether is behind bars today. Lionheart denies any knowledge of her plot. I love this. Did I falsely imprison those animals? Yes, I did. Classic wrong thing for the right reason. He's like, yes, 100%. <laughs> he did the thing that makes sense to do. I know. <laughs> Holy shit, I just realized. Night Howler Antidote is proving effective. Uh, oh, Emmett. Mr. Otterton. Now yeah. you can go back to your gangland crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Now you can go back to affiliating with the mob and visiting fetish clubs. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Zootopia was this perfect place. Anyone could be anything. Well, nothing's perfect. Yeah. Real life's more complicated than a slogan on a bumper sticker. Yep. Generally speaking. Real life is messy. We make mistakes, which means we all have a lot in common. I love that take. And the more we try to understand one another, Aww. the more exceptional each of us will be. Yeah, donuts. Yay. No matter what type of animal you are. Biggest elephant to our first fox. Yay! We don't have any hamster cops yet. And he still has the sunglasses he stole. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you get away with tax evasion, kids. Actively flaunting his criminal past. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> Call the cops? Recognize that change starts with all of us. It starts with the man in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a change. For once, once in my life. <laughs> Shut it! New recruits with us, including our first fox. Who cares? On the sharing seat. That's cute. Should have your own line of inspirational greeting. Shut your mouth! Because neither of them are large enough to have a seat. <laughs> yeah. And they still haven't made smaller seats that work for them. Still not accommodating the diversity in this workplace. Higgins. <laughs> Undercover. Ops. Going in his sheet. It's a wolf in sheep's clothes. Yeah, that's amazing. Brilliant. Beautiful stuff. Parking duty. <laughs> Just kidding. Of course. Reports of a street racer tearing up Savannah Central. Now that they got the big car. Yeah. Are all rabbits bad drivers? How is she getting her feet on the pedals? I don't know, like a broom set up? She's got know? stilts. Yeah, stilts. <laughs> Sly bunny. Some box. You know you love me. Yes, I do. Look, I know that that's probably the one moment which you could really start shipping these characters from. And I don't blame anyone oh, for yeah. wanting to ship these two characters. I prefer to think of them as just like... <laughs> yeah, Standard buddy cop, yeah, best yeah, friends, yeah. but <laughs> I get it. Buddy cop or bunny cop? <laughs> hey. hey! Flash 100 yard dash! <laughs> Sup? <laughs> nah. See, that's part of my reasoning that it was faked the whole time. Yeah. You can't react to the gear shifting and the turning that quickly. Right? Like, how does that work with everything else? Yeah. He's capable of being fast. Exactly. Right, they just do a concert here. I checked. There's no post credits. No, I scene know. proper. It is a fun little end concert. It's a nice little thing to show that like, oh yeah, they're all unified by this thing. You know? Yeah. Everyone's together now. It's one of the better big party endings that I've seen in a movie before. It, it actually, actually makes, makes sense. sense. It makes sense thematically, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But not yet. Nick and Judy, I think it's cute as far as shipping them goes. Mm. And I feel like it would make a good segue into a sequel where you kind of use it as a stand-in for mm. interracial or even queer relationships sure. and stuff. But I'm happy like either way, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Friends or romantically. It's I all agree. <laughs> yeah. It's like I was saying, I'm totally fine with anyone who wants to ship them because yeah, yeah, I think yeah. they're a fairly healthy pairing. Yeah, that's the big thing for me. It's just, yeah. is it a healthy relationship? Yeah, and I, I totally <laughs> get that. Well? For me personally, I prefer to just have more relationships on screen that are super close but still platonic. Yeah. Just because I feel like we have a lack of that. Fair you know enough. What I mean? Fair enough. This, Turning Red, and Tangled. Okay. Those yeah, are my top enough. three animated movies. Yeah, that makes sense. And we are getting to Tangled soon. Just we've both seen it multiple times, so yeah, there's yeah. no rush. I think what I appreciate the most is how they really didn't shy away from the ugly bits. They showed mm. how internalized racism mm. can affect things. They showed how microaggressions are a thing mm. and have a real impact. Mm -hmm. They even showed how how it's like, yeah, you can be like a nice overall good person, but have internalized prejudices. How you could try to do the right thing, mess it up and create a bigger problem just because you missed some of the details Precisely. from your internalized prejudice. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And we all have some of that. So it's good to sort of have that light and be like, hey, maybe we should yeah. look in the mirror just a little more often. It's not a one-to-one -one comparison. Like no. I was saying with Bellwether, yeah. prey animals are technically the privileged class, but they are also the minority. Yeah. Not a one-to-one -one comparison 
but I almost feel like maybe that was a better route to go with because this is more like a breakdown of racial and cultural tensions yeah, yeah. and how they work, showing them in different setups uh -huh. to show that it's like, yeah, there's consistencies and there's differences that almost highlight and allow you to understand it better. That it's like, oh, wow, yeah, a lot of this shit, we make it up, we assign importance to it yeah. and then create prejudices. And honestly, some of the societal constructs we make then go on to influence how you choose to see yourself and then the way you behave. Like exactly. with Nick being seen always as the sneaky fox and he's yeah. like, well, I guess that's what I'm going to be. That's what going to be. Even um, with Judy, it's like she experienced prejudice in the workplace. But, but then still she's still perpetrated also, it. She's still also privileged. That doesn't mm. exempt you or mean mm. that you're incapable of yeah. being prejudiced yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? It's like if you've experienced racism towards you, doesn't yeah. mean that you're incapable of being racist. Yeah, for sure. I've got a friend whose background is Irish mm. and one of his relatives told him to watch their wallet around me because I'm Italian. Ah, yeah, he you know, wasn't was, wrong though. He was, yeah, no. <laughs> I will steal your shit. <laughs> and just because that's happened to me doesn't mean that I don't have internalized racism because you know what? Unfortunately, a lot of Italians are pretty fucking racist, mm, but they mm, don't think they are because mm -hmm. they're like, no, but, 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 mm. but we cop it too. Yeah. It means nothing. Oh, so it's it the exact same thing nothing. in Thai culture. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've copped racism from Western society, sure, but also within Asian culture. But then we fucking do it too. Yeah, exactly. You know? And I love how they got yeah. that across. Oh, my dad raised me with the idea of, you got to watch them Chinese. Oh. Like, dad. <laughs> you know what I dad, mean? Dad, no. <laughs> like, obviously, we learn as we grow. Exactly. Well, at least we try. Well, I like that it shows that you can. Yeah. And it's like, hey, yeah, yeah man, it might not be perfect, but all you can do is, oh, shit, I just got the relevance of the song. Try. <laughs> try everything. Yeah. <laughs> this might not have been the intention mm. or what they were going for at all, but I even like how the Night Howler incident almost reflects the real-life crack epidemic no. in the U.S. Uh -huh. that was weaponized against black communities. Mm. It's like, oh, yeah, no, mm. they're just predisposed to this sort of behavior, yeah. guys. Yeah, yeah. They, no, it was like the government actually trying to destroy these communities. Yeah, <laughs> and obviously there's a deep analysis for oh, another for time sure. and this maybe is, another channel. This is just a surface-level surface level comparison. Level. I'm just being like, hey, if that was intentional, good on you to show that even government and like mm. official systems can really undermine you on like mm. a personal or an entire like social cultural group. Absolutely. I love it. I just love it. Great <laughs> film. 10 out of 10 from both of us. For sure. But you know what? Until next time, me being with Sam. Steph. And weather, weather movie, movie buds. buds.